All right. Might as well start then. So, um, like I said to some of you, at least you are already a party, <clears throat> which means you've been together for a while already, and you know each other. Uh, and you, um, you right now you're in, in a town called uh, Skornubel. It is a a pretty big trading town, uh, sort of like Baldur's Gate. But it has suffered a little bit more from what was called the Spell uh, Wars. So it's kind of rebuilding and there's a, a little more magic around this, this area now. Because they're kind of... Uh, there's these magical pools around the city uh, from that Spell War. <clears throat> but you've been, uh, you've been outside uh, as a party. You've had... Uh, had a quest that you had to, uh, to complete for somebody in town, and you just finished doing so, and you're now now back in town. I think that would be pretty nice for uh, to have a, have a nice drink after such uh, hard working. So right now, you're strolling down the street and uh, heading towards an, uh, a tavern. So, just to describe a little bit about what you see, even though you're already a party. We have uh, walking around this short little fella who's uh, walking in front, looking around curiously in basically every alley that he passes. If he if he's told us to look in through a window, he does so. So this little fellow, and uh, you can go ahead and introduce yourself. <clears throat> well, that would be me. And uh, just for the overall, I'm just going to speak in regular tongue here. And uh, as you can see, he's got nice, kind eyes and a broad smile, uh, brown hair. And as you know, uh, the dagger in his hand, of course, is sword. And as you know, I'm, I don't flail them around as this picture shows. Uh, but I got two of them and they're down my waist. Uh, two short swords. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And as you know, of course, my name's Cheeky. Cheeky Tea Leaf. That's my mother's <laughs> maiden name. <laughs> Alright. Uh, a little further behind him, uh, the, t the, two, the rest of the, the party, the two of you, are walking side by side. And there on the right, uh, see this hooded fellow who is looking... He, he basically always has his hood up, and he's trying... You can see, you've been with him for a while. He always tries to look a little cooler than he probably <coughs> is. So you can go ahead and introduce yourself as well. Uh, as you can see, I'm completely clad in black. My name... Well, I don't really have one. I just call myself the Dark Flame Master. This all happened because... Uh, because of some harrowing events that included a demon. Uh, yeah, I don't really like talking much, but you can always get on me to destroy the evil. Or I like a hunt and evil. So <laughs> run away from me. Alright. And right next to him. <clears throat> Is somebody that is uh, once in a while giving eyes to the to the little thief running around looking in through people's windows. It's a little smaller picture, but uh, he has this guy, and you can then introduce yourself as well. Uh, my name is uh, Norbin Cleveborn. Born, you you. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll be your tank. I got my eyes on you, cheeky. I'm just making sure everybody's safe. <laughs> uh, well, um, uh, you don't you don't see my face, but I'm in a half elf. All right. So uh, after your day's hard work has been done, you have uh, gotten a little bit of coin <clears throat> to spend, and we're heading. Uh, Heading towards this uh, tavern, just strolling down the street. 
Um, but after a little while, you hear from in front of you the sound of hoofs, small hoofs, just running towards you. Uh, I'd like all of you to just make a perception check. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. So the Dark Flame Master, I'm probably a little uh, too hooded today. <laughs> More concerned about how he's looking. Uh, Tea Leaf and, uh, and Lorpen, you notice that uh, in between the crowd, also walking towards you on the street, uh, it's a little sheep that is running towards you guys. And it seems to be carrying something in, in its mouth. Yeah. It runs, uh, runs straight up to uh, to Dark Flame Master, and there's something like a like a piece of paper like rolled together in his mouth, like ma ma ma. What? What? What is this sheep? I think it's got something there for us. Let me see. And I grab whatever sin it has. <clears throat> Alright. It lets go of the of the scroll in his mouth. And from looking at the seal on it, you can see that it's a scroll of speak with animals. Well this is weird. It's a scroll of speaking with animals. You guys bah, bah. Ah, well, you can see well, the sheep start to jump and like well, nod its head. I guess I could try talking with it then. Ah. I hope. Is it actually in the spell list? No, it's a scroll. It's a scroll you can use, a uh, one-time use scroll. Oh, okay. And you would actually have uh, need to be a magic caster to use it, so I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> Alright. I'll use it then. Right, so you read off around from the scroll. Mm -hmm. You hear the sheep go, bah, bah, eh, hello. That seems the scroll worked. Um, you all hear this. Hello, sheep. Hello. I, I need your help. First we all off, hear this. You all hear his uh, voice now. Uh. Seems to have a like almost an elven accent. Oh no. <laughs> this is really, really weird. Well, little fella, what might you need for help? Well, my name is Finthia. Shine bright. That's a mighty fine name for a sheep. <clears throat> I am I am not a sheep, my friend. I am a wizard. Of course you are. <laughs> right, right, and pat it on the head. Sure you are. It is true. I'm in dire need of aid. You're and a psychologist, maybe. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm gonna grab, out, grab out my steel mirror. Look, you're a sheep. You're not a wizard. I know that I look like a sheep. Well, yes. I need, I need help. I approached you guys. What kind because of you seemed you seemed like you were adventurous, and I could feel no. the mighty magical aura around this fella. Which one? Me? You? Yeah. I knew you'd, well, you would be able to read it. Magical aura emanates from within my whole body, of course. But what kind of aid do you need, my sheep, wooden friend? That's a uh, very dangerous, po possibly insane wizard. I need a very powerful magical artifact from him. So, a very powerful wizard has a very, very powerful artifact, and you need it. Yeah. Well, uh, not to uh, be stingy here, but, but, but what's in it for us? I'm I, a powerful wizard. Seems I am a powerful wizard as well. 
Well, that's mighty fine and all, but but we need something more, perhaps something to help us in our adventures, so we can help you better. I have many riches. Just as he says that, <clears throat> you hear a loud howling in the air, accompanied by the angry yells and occasional screams uh, that seems to draw nearer and nearer from within the crowd in front of you. Screams? Yes. Uh, the, the cause of these screams quickly become apparent that uh, there's a huge, huge uh, half-orc that is swaggering towards you, pushing like through the crowd without the care for where anyone is standing oh. in, in his way. Is that guy after you? It, the sheep just jumps behind you guys. In front of this uh, half oak, uh, there's uh, three colored wolves walking. And behind him, there's this hulking figure in like a dirty brown, very uh, um, furry coat uh, that is uh, mm. walking with so loud footfalls that it can be heard over this ruckus of the people. And this half oak. Immediately sets his eyes on you and strides forward with one hand on his on the hill of his great self. That sheep is Master Nooks. He decides to have it back. Who are you? I'm Gus. I'm All right. Gonna, I'm gonna go to the sheep and then I probably don't need to bend down, but just to make sure I got eye contact with it, I'm gonna bent down a little bit, so I'm face to face. Mm -hmm. um, if you need our help, it's probably now that you need to think about those rewards. You, I have riches. And where might those be? At, at my old house. That is I'm gonna, I'm gonna convenient, conveniently, that is also where the other wizard is. Oh, that's mighty convenient, though. <laughs> Can we... You just see the orc walk a little bit closer to you. How? Oh. Hand it back. You're not touching the sheep without my permission, fella. Oh. You'd be wise to stay away. What? Because I consider you evil. And I crack my head a little bit. You don't want me to find you evil. Friend. I am. I can Wait, be very just... evil if Master Nook doesn't get his property back. He has great sen sentimental sense to him. Well, he clearly doesn't know what evil means to our paladin. Hmm. <laughs> Boy, you wanna <clears throat> hand it back? You seem like clutching his sword now. I'm afraid not. And I... That is not your property. But it's not yours as well. How do you know it's this sheep? You have condemned yourself before me, fiend. What? Should I do an Eldritch Blast? Oh god, okay. All, <laughs> all your roll initiative and you go ahead and make your attack. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, he said he was evil. We all know what happens to you. Yeah. yeah, he said he was gonna be evil if he didn't hand it back. Oh, must have misheard. Oof. Yay. Uh, just as an initiative, you say. That's on the main page. Middle. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going as fast as I can here. That's okay. <laughs> Are you laggy? No, no. I okay. just don't remember where the button is. Oh, in, in the middle on the main screen. Oh, right there. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, that's good. I'm going to roll it again. <laughs> yeah. Just Wait, can I do that for initiatives as well? Yeah, probably. Checks. Okay, sure. Nice. All right, so you go ahead and release your uh, Eldritch Blast against the... Two Eldritch yeah. Blasts. Wait, two? Yeah, level five. Yeah. So that's two beams. No, is yes. it? Oh yeah, yeah. It, it is two beams. Sure, 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 sure. Yes. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Whoa. Well. Okay. <laughs> so just see them. See the release. He, he doesn't really seem. Sure. Right. <clears throat> sure. Oof. He doesn't really seem prepared. Oof. And then you just lift your hand and then. And just hit him right in his arm. It like takes his takes his arm off the off the of the sword even, and he just clutches his back, and now he's he looks ready to go at you. I did warn you. All right. So first of all, these wolves. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> just launch forward. One on you here, and they. Are you when... my reaction to attacking? Sure, but make a make a perception check first. No. Oh, okay. Perception. Okay. All right. These walls seems like they're very, very intelligent. Somehow, their eyes look very different from what you'd normally see in wolves. Hmm. But they've also been turned, probably, like a probably. supposed little wizard sheep. Mm. Uh -huh. This guy misses you, though. Okay, I'm going to use my reaction to attack him, since he's All in right. my reach. Uh. I'm going to try and knock him out because I noticed he was a bit too intelligent. It's the same with all of the uh, the wolves. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Um, I'll I'll go for knockouts instead of kill. So let's see. Hit. Right. Doesn't quite take him out. Quite. All right. Wait. Can can you just attack on your reaction or? Yeah. What? Yeah. What kind it's of ability? My, my feet. What? Which one? Master. Uh, Clay, Albert, Pike, or Quarterstaff. Other creatures provoke an opportunity attack when they enter your reach. My reach is five feet, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. Whack them all. You see the yeah, next wolf <clears throat> run all the way around you. Good. And into a. Not the ship. And it tries to grab the uh, the, sh the sheep. Oof. Um, let's see. Whoops, that was two. Let's take the first one. Right, it manages to... Uh... Well, let's see. Would you consider the sheep an enemy yeah. of these guys? Me? Yes. You yes. are the demon. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. So the sheep's considered an enemy of our enemies. <laughs> yes. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> um, so this guy has some grabbles now. <clears throat> and uh, must be a weird sight. Uh, it looks like he's trying to take off with him. Ooh. Well, this guy runs up as well, yet. and uh, he's gonna try uh, try and attack uh, you as well, Flame Master. <clears throat> Since he's next to his uh, his ally there, he has pack tactics, so he's advantage. Mm. Oh, that's twenty! <laughs> All right, so he just goes in for a bite. A bite? Huh? Yeah, and you need to make a strength save. Oh yeah, oh. you're fine. Mm. Twenty on that one. Yeah. So you you manage to hold against him, even though he's trying to like take you down with him, like bite him down and make you prone. Wow. You finally see this big holding figure just bent down on four. Oh shit. And almost like morph into this huge ass bear. And he's just and he's just gonna oh. run up. All the way to the paladin. Well, hello there, bear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's first gonna try and, and and bite you, but it misses. Uh, and that doesn't really make it uh, very happy. So it's gonna try and claw at you as well. I went better. <laughs> and you just take a huge f swipe. You can just. Almost feel the massive power behind this huge bear. 
uh, Fenthia is gonna, he's gonna try and uh, and break free of the of the grapple. Oops, I wrote twice again. The first one is uh, sixteen against the walls. Yeah, he's actually managed to shrug the walls off him. So the walls oh. just poof, he just dodges sheet. under. Yeah, he yeah, is quite strong. strong and the wolf just looks like he's ready to take another, take another stab at him and grab him. He want, seems like he's wanting to take him away. <laughs> You're not taking my gold purse away from me. <laughs> All right, Lovin. Uh, yes. So they are evil. <laughs> well, they're punching you. <laughs> Hello, he, he, he doesn't seem like a nice guy. <laughs> I mean, the bear is kind of in my way. Can't see really. So I'm going to hit a bear. Mm. Oof. All right. <clears throat> and I thought I could uh, hit again, right? Yeah, you have two attacks. Nice. Oh god. Damn. So you see. Lorbrin just take off this huge frail he has. And you see him spin it and just poof one side in the head and then poof one side on the shoulder and it <clears throat> the bear's limping a little bit. Wasn't too much damage for it, but it didn't like that. Uh the the, the one shoulder doesn't seem uh, quite in place anymore. Right, uh, cheeky. Okay. Um Well I'm in the reach of the bear. So I'm going to use my bonus action to disengage. Okay. Do I need to do something to do that? Uh, you need to move away. Then I'm just going to slightly move over here. All right. And then seeing as I got my friendly little neighborhood sheep with me, I'm <laughs> going to help him out as best as I can. And I'm okay. going to stab the wolf. <laughs> I just thought he was going to stab him. Of course, <laughs> just stab the sheep. <laughs> so do I click control and then click on the sheep? Uh, sorry, sorry, the wolf. And then yeah. Turn to attack it. <laughs> yeah. There you have him. Okay. And since I got a friendly neighborhood sheep with me, I get sneak attack. And oh boy, he's not really an ally, but he's an enemy of them. And it's not stating that I need an ally. I need an enemy of whoever, whomever I'm hitting. That's All right, sure, why I asked you sure, if the sheep sure, sure, is sure. an enemy. Sure, sure, you can get it. Oh, <coughs> so sneak attack. No, no, effects first. But uh, yeah. make sure you hit him. Yeah, then I'm gonna roll for attack. Yep. And then I'm gonna roll for damage. Yeah, it's dead. And I killed it. <laughs> you try to take one of the big swords, quite big for a halfling, and just drive it into the top of its skull, and you just hear this bone crunching sound. <laughs> if you take a quick, if uh, Lobin and the <coughs> Flame Master takes a quick, uh, quick behind them, make it beat. Yeah, oh. it's a gruesome sight. That's not looking good. All right, do you oh. want to move? Well, little sheep here, if, if you don't want to get grabbled anymore, you might want to step back a bit. And then yes. I move, move back to the bear, I guess. All right. All right. Well, twist my quarter I... stuff around. Sorry to interrupt. How do I remove the target of the wolf again? I click on him again. Yeah. With the control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, yep. nice, nice. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. I think I'll just spin around my quarter stuff and slam it like a bit on the ground, then use armor of Agathis. All right. Myself. So that's level three. Mm -hmm. What does it do? Uh, 15 temp HP, and if I get hit, they get 15 cold damage. All right. Well, they get cold damage. Uh, yeah. yeah. For how much they remove the shield. Yeah. Okay. So you can go ahead and uh, 
and add that in. You you can probably use an effect, right? You have the wolf target, by the way. Oh, I do. Yeah, wolf number one. Um, it's level one though. I'm not sure how you do it at level three. I think you click the uh, <coughs> the heel three times, right? On on oh no. Yeah, I'm not sure. No. Okay, no, I'll just give you 15. 15. Yeah. There we go. And uh, then remember if they do damage to you. So if they hit me, they get 15 cold points of cold damage as mm -hmm. long as I have damp HP, right? Yes. Wicked. Okay, and then I use my bonus action to point at the bear with my staff and my Hexblaze Curse. Alright. <clears throat> Hexblaze Curse. Let's see, what does it do? You're already uh, fucking with the microphone again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have uh, bonus damage equal to your proficiency on him. So plus three. And... You crit on the 19. Mm -hmm. And if it dies, you regain some hit points equal to your Eight. level plus your proficiency. No, crush my modifier. Alright. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Alright, do you want to move? No, I'm good. Alright. Then you hear the half orc. You gave him back. And he, no. he's, he's looking very fucking angry. I don't think so. So he just rushes up to you, Dark Flame Master. Mm -hmm. And you see the anger in his eyes, and he's using Reckless. Ooh. Uh, so you have advantage if you want to hit this guy next turn. Oh, so he uses Reckless now? Yes. So cool. he has advantage on hitting you? Yes. So if I use my reaction now, I get advantage? Uh, you have only one reaction per turn. Yeah, but I just ended my turn. Oh, sure. Yeah, you do. Okay, cool. Well, you know. But yeah, he's gonna go ahead and, uh, and swing at you. He has a pretty big... Uh, sure. Pretty big uh, greatsword here. Oh, greatsword. Okay. That's cool. Uh, actually, he's gonna run even closer. He went up here. Wow. And he's gonna target both of you. What? Lorben and uh, Dark Flame Master. Oh, okay. Well, that's perfect. Uh, yeah. So, he only hits Lorben. Yeah. Still gonna smash him, though. And just take this huge <laughs> great source. Like, he just swings it around just over the sheep. And you just hear ping on the armor, and he just goes through the armor on the Lorben. Uh, and then, but well, there's not enough uh, force left to go into Dark Flame Master afterwards. And he's looking very serious. Oof. Eesh. I miss. Alright. Shame. The wolf in front of you. Uh, he's still gonna try and head, go ahead and attack you. Oh, Doggo. Don't do it. He has advantage. Oh, yeah, they do. Don't do it. It hits. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, it's dead. How much was that? Four? That was uh, four. It takes fifteen gold damage. Fifteen? No, it yep. takes four. It takes uh, it takes damage. It does. How much it damages right. your shield? Pretty sure. Or am I missing? Creature hits you with a melee attack while you have these hit points. The creature takes mm -mm, gold damage. Take increases what? by yeah, like uh, at level one, I gain five if a creature hits you while I have hit points. Takes five cold damage. If I guess it's higher, both temp HP and cold damage increase for each shot. All right. Oh, so okay. this guy just bites into you and pull. Let's see if he pulls you down. He Oof. does. He just pulls you to the ground and then he just freezes into him and he's, well. he, he's, he just instantly dies and lets go of you. Not entirely what I wanted. But uh, you are on the ground now. Shit. Uh, and Mr. Wolfie number uh, number three over here is gonna <laughs> use that to his advantage. And I too, I guess. 
But he misses. <laughs> since, you're, since you're on the ground, he's not really sure. Even though he's an intelligent wolf. Nope. Nope. Just saw my buddy explode. Nah. The bear's um, also looking intelligent. What is intelligent looking creatures? And he's looking very sad because uh, two of his buddies are dead. Oh no. He, he brought that on himself. So you just hear him and just slam down into your uh, into your shoulder, Lorben, with his uh, huge mouth. <laughs> it's basically a frenzy. This is, uh... And he just takes a huge bite out of you. Go and then he just goes for a, a claw attack on, uh, on tea leaf. But it misses him. I'm really snaky. <laughs> <laughs> a bit um, short. F Fenty doesn't really know what he's supposed to do. You, s you see the little sheep jump on, on the spot. <laughs> he can't really run away because he's so close to uh, to two of the enemies that he's just trying to like duck in behind uh, Tea Leaf and uh, Lorben. And uh, I think he's uh, hoping that you'll protect him. Hi, right, Lorben. You say dug in, so he's standing as close as he can to Lorben. And you, like, wedging in between you guys. Uh, I'd like to use a spell on the beer. Uh, command. All right, what are you going to use? Command. Oh, all right. What are you going to tell it? Retreat. Retreat. Okay, yes. so I make a... Do I make anything? I make a wisdom save. Do I just have to <clears throat> cast it? Because I never... Oh, can you cast it? If yes. you can, then sure. Okay. Uh, so first you click twice, I think. So first roll, oh. he succeeds. Yep. So he just looks at you like... Like he's on, he, on, he understood what you tried to make him do, and he, he's looking at you like... Why? What? I talk back, cool. Uh, this is not going great. Do you want to do anything else? Yes. Yes? I uh, would like to cure my own wounds. Alright. Uh, that is an action, though. Oh. Uh, I, I can do that. <coughs> uh, hands is that an action? It's not a bonus action? Uh, as an action, okay, no. No. I'll just smack this on the roof. Uh, you cannot smack if you don't... You have to take the attack action and then you get two attacks. Oh. <laughs> so if you don't anything, need... there's a bonus action you can use this now. Yeah, if you have a bonus action, that's uh, what you can use. Oh, okay. Well, where is that? Uh, you have Hunter's Mark. Oh. But uh, it's a spell, so I don't know if you want to use that. Huh. Yeah, paladins um, have no cantrips. <laughs> Oof. But, but uh, there is one heal. There's a bonus action. The one. He, yeah, he doesn't have. Uh, he has. He doesn't have healing word. Uh, oh, okay. Right. right. Um. Well, you can hunter's mark. So that's a concentration spell. So you can mark one of the creatures. And uh, until the spell ends, you deal one extra d6 uh, to it. Ah, so the bear, of course. Alright. Um, okay, and then... Okay. Where was it? The... Hunter's Mark. Ah. Uh, I... Yes, I found it. You mm -hmm. just have to... <coughs> just have to click on effect, right? Yeah, just once. Oh, goddammit. I'll uh, remove one of them. Thank you. There we go. Right, so you have marked that one, so you're gonna do more damage to him next time. Okay. Alright. Cheeky. Um, is the sheep still located so that it occupies that space between me and the big guy? Yeah, it is. 
Well, gone, damn it. Uh, well, I guess uh, Chiggy's just gonna look at that stupid bear that tried to hit him. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Did I target it? Yeah. Cool. Um, since I got a friendly neighborhood uh, nearby, I'm gonna mm -hmm. do this. Yes. Oof, yeah, still a hit. Damn. So again, you just take your dagger. And I'm gonna, you know, take my uh, left hand that's still holding another sword. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go in for, you know, an extra step. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you see Ooh. this little teeth thing just run in underneath the chest of the bear and just up underneath and just cut into him and it doesn't even roar back before it just falls to the ground now that's how you hit someone <laughs> oh yeah i get a it died right so uh, oh wait am, I, am wanna... I not allowed to move yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah sorry so i regain my hit points wait first first uh take you can move can i move now yeah yeah isn't bound by uh, by turns. Okay, I'm just gonna look at something because uh, the racial ability, uh, halfling nimbleness. It just says I can move move through the space of any creature that is a size larger than me. Yeah. That means I can't occupy the same space, but I can move through it. Yes. Okay. Um... <clears throat> The sheep is pretty big, actually. You can move uh, underneath that. <laughs> is the sheep bigger than me? Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Well, you're, you're small as fuck. Three feet isn't small, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go over... Uh, I'm just gonna see which map's probably here, I guess. All right. And right. that's my turn. All right, Dark Flame Master. All right, so this guy is annoying. Time to go full barrage on this one. Remember, you have uh, advantage on him. I do. He reused Reckless last turn. Oh right! Oh 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 no, poor guy. All right, so I'm going for a full quarter staff blow blow blow. So first, ooh, good advantage. That's a hit. So that's damage. Then I use my bonus action to smack him with the uh, back of the staff. Okay. So that's that. Oh, ooh. I forgot the advantage. I'll just roll again. Whoop. All right. Ah, it's yeah. Uh, it's God a bless advantage. Hmm, what? I just said God bless advantage. Yes. <laughs> it's a dice four though, so six. And my second attack. Oh. Wait, you can hit him three times? Oh yes. Extra attack if I use my back to beat. shit. What? So, Wait, I'm not sure that's a thing. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Okay, so walk me through what you just did. You took a normal attack. So I took a normal attack, and then because of my feet, I took a bonus action using one dice four instead. Like uh, all our sentinel <coughs> so I, uh, I can use my bonus action to make a melee attack with the opposite end of the weapon, which becomes a d4 for damage. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. All our master feet. And then where does the next attack come from? My Eldritch Invocation... But that's also a bonus action. Bursting Blade. Right? Attack with your backed weapon twice instead of once whenever you take the attack action on your turn. So you don't... It is, it's not a bonus action? No, he gets what? to attack twice okay. with his action. Okay. Yeah. But sure. I, I can also use a bonus action. Like, I smack him and then turn around with the weapon and smack him again. Yeah, you smack him with the weapon, and you use the backside, and you smack him again, right? So, so that's your... Yeah. I was just gonna make sure, we haven't uh, seen this uh, okay. combination before. Uh, so, of course, uh, 
There we go. Mm. All right. Oh, good enough. <laughs> good enough. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you just uh, almost monk your way through, just spinning with this stuff. Just <laughs> and you see him like the angry eyes just suddenly just turn all sort of sides around his head, and he's just trying to steady himself, focuses, and uh, now he's just looking more pissed than you at you. Huh. I did warn you. And he just starts and he's definitely going in for reckless again. Come at me then. Uh so he's gonna try and swing at both of you. Oh that's lovely. Um So you and T leaf with the reckless. Oof. Why always me though? I haven't done anything. <laughs> it's both of you. <laughs> well, he's not right over to him. Ooh, oh, nice. So he gets fifteen cold damage. All right. Well, is the yeah. the the still entire, or is it what's left on it? No, it's entirely that. Okay. Uh, depends on the level, but it's level three, so fifteen. All right. So he just. Swings across both of you guys again, and then as he hits you, you just you just see this cold just stream up his sword in, in into his arm, and he just has to like shake it off him. You just see uh, the sword kind of uh, dripping, and uh, there's like a like a little layer of ice that just splinters from it. Huh. Right, he's nice. dead. He's dead. One wolf be left. They're all dead. This wolf right in front is just gonna run over and try and uh, grab the sheep. Stupid wolf. <laughs> uh, let's see if he does so. Uh, no, that's not even gonna roll on his side. He rolled a one. <laughs> so he, he cannot even get the sheep. The sheep is just scared and uh, jumping around, trying to dodge everything. And this time it worked against this. Uh, Small enemy. Pass on the ground. Uh, he can't really run away. He's just fucking trying to hide behind the paladin. Uh. <laughs> That's my first. I'd like to slap the the wolf, the remaining wolf. Mm -hmm. yes. Alert. Yeah. Oof. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just boom. And uh, it seems like the face and the scholar area around the wolf just turns almost liquid underneath the flail. And the wolf just yeah loses movement and this body just falls to the ground. Good lordy. You have one, to, uh, yeah, you have one more check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Huh. It's um, half orc, right? Yeah, you have advantage against him because he wrecked us. Uh, I mean, so karma. Uh huh. Still have to get that uh, HP. Hi, what? The the bear. The bear? I gave the orc uh, fifteen uh, damage. No, 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 no. The hex blaze curse. I regain if he dies. I gain uh, its hit points equal to my level and charisma. Oh, that's right. So that's eight. And I think he's pretty dead, though. Yeah. He's, he is dead. He, he is the uh, Cheeky just made a uh, fast work out of this bear. <laughs> so eight HP back. No, no, not temp. Literal HP. Oh, li oh okay. Yeah. It's he a heal. Mm -hmm. That's pretty... Uh, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good indeed. Alright, so Robin, what are you doing? Oh! Ooh. Oh shit. Uh, make, a, make a persuasion check. Okay. Unless you're trying to sound scary. Ooh. Hmm. Oops, that's, I'm gonna take the first one. Why can't I keep rolling twice? <clears throat> All right, he 
you see the raid subside a little bit and he's just looking at you still angry and says why you know hoggish okay. you can speak out loud just say you're oh. speaking hoggish <clears throat> i'll give you the opportunity to surrender now or you die i am here for the sheep but it's dying worth it I'm very loyal. <sighs> Why don't you surrender? Just tell me. Do you, do you need it? My master needs it. You can run away. And forget about everything. I will never run. You get, you, get, you get the feeling that he's very loyal to his master. Okay. Good to know. Well, he's gonna die for his master then. <laughs> so, this guy believes yeah, that yeah. this guy believes that he can take you guys on. So another. Well, sure he can. We just straight up kill his companions. Okay. So another flail attack, I guess. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Ooh. This guy. Oh. That's still pretty good. So just poof, smacking him in the side. Uh, and you see him like. Urgh! Still looking pretty pretty angry now, right now. <laughs> right, Cheeky? Well, let's see if we can't help with that. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak attack if you want to attack. No, you have advantage? Obviously. Right and he has, you have advantage, remember that as well. Uh, <laughs> so I put on advantage and we did this, so we're gonna roll. Roll it. Great. Oof. And we're gonna do this. Oof. <laughs> Yeah. He isn't looking good. And then obviously we're gonna go in with that extra blade just for the side, yeah. you know. <laughs> and the sucker. Oh and that hits as well. <laughs> so you see Cheeky just in the bush over there, just sticking out and you just see his arm <laughs> just stab him in the back as he's talking to uh to Lor uh Lorben. And we just see him. <laughs> Is there anything else we want to do? Well, there's not a lot I can do. I can duck my head on <laughs> in the bush <laughs> as low as I go. <laughs> you just see the yeah. crazy eyes of uh, Cheeky Tea Leaf into the bush slowly. Alright, <laughs> Dark Flame Master. This guy isn't looking too good. Hmm. Not looking too good, huh? And I just bring up my quarter stuff above me. Feel the wrath of the Dark Flame Master. And I strike down. Alright. Here we go. Ooh, wait, I have advantage. You I do. Forgot. That hits. And That's I'm second. going for the non killing blow. Okay. Then use my bonus action for the kick. Mm -hmm. Advantage. Nice one. So seven damage. He down. He he is uh, still standing. Oh boy! And my second attack. Mm -hmm. Hits him as well. Still going for the kick. Oh. There, there I got him, just poof, poof, poof. And you just see him fall to the one side Bleeding a lot Laying on the ground <laughs> All his uh, allies has got around him And you just see this sheep finally just Run out a little bit And turn towards you guys again, like looking scared uh, Viewing over this whole situ situation here Evil cannot best me Um, can I, can I use uh can I use, uh, what's it called, um, sleight of hand to maybe look <laughs> through his pocket? <laughs> uh, so you don't want the others to notice? Well, it's not as much. It's not <clears throat> as much the others. You say we have been traveling for a while now, and I happen <laughs> to know Lorben doesn't always enjoy having people <laughs> lose stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can make a make a sleight of hand check, and then. Uh, an investigation check. 
RPG. Investigation. Well, that's shit. That's pretty good. Nice roll. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so you're looking through Gus. Uh, if that's the orc guy, then yes. Oh right. yeah, his name was Gus. Yes. Um, he doesn't really seem to be carrying much. He has a few gold on him. Uh, in a pouch. Um, probably around six gold in there. Uh, you mean I have a pouch with six gold in it? You do now. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> of course there's his, uh, his, his great sword. Uh, but not, nothing other than that. I don't think I'm gonna take the great sword, <laughs> even though I rolled high on sleight of hand. If that goes missing, I know he's gonna look at me. <laughs> Probably. So I'm gonna leave the sword and take the little pouch. Yeah. Do you, you can add the gold. the gold, or do you, I? You can add it. And how do you do that? Just type in the number of total gold. You said six? Yeah. So you see now the sheep, quite scared that all these things are after him, look towards you. So, are you going to help me? We already did, just now. This is only some of them. Some? How many? How many exactly are? As many as he you? wants. What is this wizard? How is he so powerful? He was my apprentice. Your apprentice? Yes. But one night, he was supposed to be... I was meditating. So you're an elf? Yes. Alright. But this guy is called Ahmed Nook. He was, stand, he was standing over me. You see, I live in this tower outside of town. And I'm... I am a great wizard. I specialize in transmutation. But my prized, most prized possession was my wand of true polymorph. That oh, night, man. Nook was standing over me with the wand as I opened my eyes for meditation. I see. I was trying to ask what the boy was doing, but what was, I could say was, bah! <laughs> and how did you manage to get all the way back here? Ah. <sighs> You see, I virtually became a prisoner in my own garden. So I was forced to gaze on nothing but grass and buttercups. But there was hungry wolves and other beasts. That was outside in the, in the garden as well. They looked at me. I suspect they're people. So, last night, for the first time in months, Nook left the home without closing the door. So I snuck out. And I managed to grab myself the scroll I gave you on the way out. I rushed to town, trying to find the one with the most magical aura around here. And I found you. I see. So, travelers, I need your help. I think we should help him. He really I'm seems always... to need help. <laughs> seems like it. I need, I need one more dose of the of the wand of true polymorph. So I need to get my wand back. Of course, understand. little fella. So I know that he still dwells in my old home, 
It's southeast of town. Southeast, you say? Yeah, but it, he, yeah, you can't really. I, I thought about luring him away, but he always has the wand on him, and he doesn't leave. Apparently, turning me into this has made him paranoid. Somebody would do the same to him. Would be a fitting thing to happen. I'll be glad to help. I'm not one to turn down a hunt or evil. I just need a wand. So just a wand? Yes. Hmm. Well, I don't see why we shouldn't help this uh, poor little fella, but, but, but in the meantime, what are you going to do? It's not like they're not going to stop coming, is it? I'll go with you. I know the way. You'll go with us. That puts you in a lot of danger. You protect me. Well, that well, may I mean, be true, but... There's always a chance you're going to die. Well, are you willing to risk that? That's a risk I'm going to take on this. Fine. Welcome to the team, then, my very friend. And then uh, I tie up the orcish guy. All right. So are we gonna go for that bear while we wait for this guy to wake or? I'm not sure. I mean, are we in a hurry to get this wand, Mr. Sheep Guy? Yes. Look at me. Well, I know, but you just said he doesn't leave without the wand on him. And if he's inside the tower, it's going to be a lot more dangerous than if he's not. He never so leaves. Maybe this big guy. Never. He's paranoid. Well, that's some life, though. I would be careful. You know what they say about paranoid men? They think about every outcome. Well, not all. You cannot expect the unexpected. Not the outcome where we go for that beer and wait for this guy to wake. I don't think we have the time. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna look at my compatriots uh, with a, the, the kind eyes I do have, uh, with a look <laughs> saying, I'm gonna leave this one to you. Can't be bothered discussing things with a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> it's all open. What do you think? We just let the Zord guy behind and let the sheep guide us? Hmm. I uh, might yeah. want to put him in jail or something. The sheep, or...? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the sheep. Not the sheep, Orban. That'd be hey, good. <laughs> fake. I know, fake I, know. I am not that smart. <laughs> uh, Which one of these evil guys is still alive? You. Aside from <laughs> me. And Cheeky. Uh, Who else? <laughs> Yes, he did. Oh, he's still alive. Did you not oh. see? No, I I got got a big wound. So, uh, yeah, she gets some uh, medical care. Then. Oh, so oh. so we're gonna get medical care and then move on, I guess. I wait. The orc is still alive. Yes, yes. I, I believe so. Yes, I can check for you. Don't stab him, cheeky. <laughs> I'm gonna put my short swords away and just, just gently put a hand on his neck and see if I feel a pulse. Um, make a medicine check. Oh, this is gonna be great. He's totally died. <laughs> <laughs> Skills medical, you say? I think it's medicine. Oh! <laughs> oh, he's definitely alive. <laughs> you, you just just put a finger on him. You can clearly feel. 
Uh, uh, he is still alive. Not so. But he's evil. I'll take my flail. Obviously, no. Uh, Lord. <laughs> and look at his head. Mm. Hmm? I lo I'm looking at his head. He, he, he looks He looks very evil. Uh, looks like something you should vanquish. I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly drag him towards <laughs> the bush. <laughs> no, me and Glorben, we're in the middle of town, whilst uh, looking very beckingly at the dark flame to take care of Lorben. He's evil. Yes, I know. I I'm on the hunt for evil as well. I understand, Lorben, but squashing someone's head in with a just just don't do it in the middle of town. Okay. Where do you want to <laughs> Not in the middle of town. <laughs> do that in the oh, back. Robin, I think the most righteous thing would be to put the bad guys in jail. They all need to die. I sound very persuasive in, in this one. You can try and roll pers uh, persuasion. <laughs> Oof. Um, Urban, uh, Urban? That's a long time ago. Uh, Lorben. Yeah. Uh, you can go ahead and roll a... Hmm. Insight? I still think it's insight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Insight. <laughs> well, he does sound very uh, like he knows his stuff. Hmm. Sounds like the right thing to do. You're probably right. <sighs> At least this once, I think I am. <laughs> Look good on the bright side. Lorben, you managed to defeat no. evil creatures. No, not that's really. a bright side. And he's knocked down, he's out, you did a good thing. So let's follow the sheep, get this guy to jail, if there's a jail. Right, well, there's a jail. That's a deal. Oh, what will we do with the sheep? Will we put him in a farm? No, no, he'll guide us. Uh, it's a sheep. Yeah, see if they can it's talk to you. It's a magical sheep, my friend. Pat him on the back. He's yes, a Lorben, just, mighty just... wizard sheep. He's a wizard. <laughs> yeah, you also heard the things. All the things that he said is uh, heard by everyone. Uh, yeah, we oh, can yeah. all speak to animals now. I it's a wonderful thing. Okay. <laughs> hmm. uh, so we have to follow the sheep. You see the sheep being a little impatient. Ah! Ah. Yeah, he wants us to follow him, so, you know. We should oh. probably drop that guy off and be on our way. Yeah, probably. Lobin, do you think with your mighty arms you could probably carry this uh, dull, oh. orcish, sure. evil guy? Uh, <laughs> <too long. laughs> uh, yeah, you, you, you're definitely strong enough to carry him. You're pretty damn strong. Yes. Wait, where's the prison? Due north. That. Also, no, I've been told. Looks very chicken. Do you have experience? Chicken. Make a. Are you gonna look for a prison or what are you doing? Yeah, sure. You haven't really been to this town much. No, so I'm going to look for it. So well, that means walking around a lot. So make. A, it's gonna take a while. Are you gonna walk with the orc out the street? Well, <laughs> well <laughs> you might just ask some people. <laughs> Well, since no. I do have uh, do have this uh, thievy thingy talky to people, couldn't I just find a compatriot nearby real quickly and then ask? I mean, certainly every thief in the entire town knows where the prison is. Probably. Make an investigation check. Probably. Why did I get better at investigation? I'm just feeling my <laughs> with all my with all my extra skills here. I haven't taken investigation. I'm probably the worst rogue ever. <laughs> That's not too bad. After walking around for five minutes or so, you find uh, in one of the alleys somebody that you can, you can see is definitely from a band of thieves. I'm gonna walk up and do our thieving handshakey thing and show a you know a little tattoo I got. Seems like a a pretty thin dwarf. Hello there. Uh, no. What the? Uh, um. 
Since we're compatriots, I just happen to need to know a certain thing about a certain building called a prison. Do you happen to know where that is? Are you going? Well, I do have to. I don't want to, but I do have to. Hmm. Like that for all of us. So the prison. Yeah. From on here, it's on the way out south. Near the outskirts of the city. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Keep on the hunt, sir. You too. I'm gonna go back to my compatriots then. Mm hmm? Just like I said, it's due south out of town. <laughs> right. Didn't you say north? I'm pretty sure I said south. <laughs> We should probably off, just go. Off we go then. Orc, come with me. Oh yeah, you're... Oh. So you're gonna carry the, the orc? Yes. Oh, the half orc, yeah? Okay. I'm just gonna leave the corpses of the... <laughs> okay. Of course, they're dead. Yeah, you can, you, can, you can always skin them if you want. Nah. You see, you, you see a lot of spectators? <laughs> um, just... But some of them have left since uh, Cheeky went away. It seems like the battle was over and they're still a little scared. People that come to the place now definitely take another route as they see what's lying ahead of them. What's that for? I, I think we should go, like, like probably right now. I don't want to attract a lot of people. So yeah, I agree. I, 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 think I, I guess we leave. All right. Mm -hmm. So you head to, to, towards the south of town. Yeah, for the prison. All right. It doesn't take uh, too long for you to find out where it is. Uh, it uh, there is, of course, a like a a sign uh, outside the prison that says uh, jail and courthouse. And uh, do you just head uh, straight into the the prison area? I I, I guess. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Lorben, you can go. Okay. You're the most righteous of us. They're gonna listen to you. Of course, probably. They will. All right. So you walk up a few stairs and enter a uh, small room where you see a warden and uh, two guards. Then I drop the half orc on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and they look to you. Heavy. Have uh, you done this? He's a criminal. He. Okay. And who are you? My name is Sir Lorben. I see. Cleric. What? Are you a cleric? I'm a paladin, so kinda. Ah, a paladin. Even better. I know. What the. Um, what crimes has this guy committed? He attacked us without any reason. Without any reason. That seems no, hardly unlikely. He just wanted a sheep. <laughs> a sheep? Do you Some have sheep? Sheep. M magical sheep. And it can talk. He starts to look very confused. <sighs> Would you like to come in for a bit? Yeah, of course. Alright. Just sit down here. Yes, okay. <laughs> the warden just stands up. Guard, get this guy some water. Yes, please. I have also these big wounds. Yeah. I see. Yeah, that would make you feel that way, wouldn't it? No. So, where's my water? It's, it's coming right up, sir. Thank you. Did um, you take this guy out alone? No, I had uh, companions here. Yeah. Pretty ah, long friends, I guess. They didn't make it. Oh no, they they're still around somewhere. I nearby. see. Probably outside. Yeah, sticks his head out. Are you still outside? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm definitely not standing outside of prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm I in am. the nearest alley, and I'm <laughs> not gonna keep at all. <laughs> so I'm just waiting. You just see, uh, you see, you see a warden stick his head out, and back in. Just like wave. 
No, he just sticks his head out and goes back in to uh, Lauren. I want to see your weird guy out there. How did he look like? Uh, he had a purple robe. Looking like down at his feet. Yeah, it's probably one of like, them. He was gr grinning a little to himself, I don't know. Br bring him inside, please. Yeah, I think it's shit. What? Yeah, okay, <laughs> go, go, go. Ah. So you see the, the one stick his head out as well. Just wave you in. What? Okay. Walk over. They walk in? Sure. Right, you see uh, Lorben sitting in there. No, hi. Lorben, what are you doing? I'm explaining stuff, and yes, you're my friend, right? Yes, Lorben, I'm your friend. Okay. Uh, so you're working together? Yes, we're in the same pot. I yeah. see. We are. As you see him uh, look to one of these guys. A bunch, bunch of weirdos. Oh, go ahead, please. Oh, I have weird oh, things so far everyone. about a. Uh, Sheep that could talk? Also, yes. they, they, they called you weird. I know. People uh, just always call me that, that's okay. That's so judging. Yeah. In a nutshell, some guy with some wolves and a bear came at us. Said he wanted a sheep. Mm. We sheep like, again? Yes, there was a sheep. I don't know why he wanted it. No idea. But, I mean, a sheep is a good animal, I think. So, I wasn't just going to let him grab it for no reason. Might it be someone's property? Was it? I thought it was your property. It's not my property. Who was it then? But Yours? I wouldn't want someone's sheep to be harmed without reason, so then he just promptly attacked us. Maybe it was his sheep. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. How would you know it's the sheep? He wanted to kill it. He explicitly That's what we do it. with sheep here, my friend. I know, but this was oh, in a weird way. Like, he wanted to kill it, but capture it first. Yeah, that's how it, it works. Back to his master. I don't see anything wrong with this. <laughs> also, the sheep is magical. How, how well, would you know? Because I talked to it. You guys are so weird. <laughs> what? Either Where's way, could you lock this guy up? I guess I'll look forward to seeing what he has to say when he wakes up. Perhaps we needed to murder him. What? I said he's evil, so... All bad. No. No. Where is my water? <laughs> it hasn't come yet. Ah. This is so long. I'm we going should... to take your seat with me. Probably go out. Okay. I'll, uh, where's the sheep? Yourselves out. Um, okay. Like, where, I'm, I'm asking, where's the sheep? <laughs> uh, Lorben has it. Right. <laughs> what? The sheep? I mean, oh, no, wait, no. I don't have a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's with Cheeky. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that depends. Can <laughs> you crawl into windows? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, I mean, no. you did leave a rogue alone in an alley. True. No, I it guess, doesn't crawl through the, windows. I guess the sheep is standing in an alleyway then, and Cheek is uh, near, the, near that specific alleyway. So you're, you're trying to climb through a window near the prison? No, I've, I've found <laughs> a house Okay. in an alley. And I mean, I'm looking into this house, and I'm pretty sure I saw something. Somebody needed help. <laughs> okay. Make a right. Make a perception check. This is going lovely. Well, they're not gonna get any help, I guess. <laughs> uh, in there, is, you see a living room. Whatever, whoever's living in there doesn't clean often. And there's plates on the on the coffee table and uh, seems pretty dusty. Seems like there's someone living there, but probably not like a wealthy fellow. 
Well, either way, I'm still going to worry very, very stealthily go inside and see if he might have more wealth than he's going to need. <laughs> okay, make a stealth check. The Robin Hood. I'm going to roll that again. No, that's a seven. That's a seven. One. All right, so what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to take a, a glance around and see if I find... Well, first of all, I want to see if there's a person immediately in the vicinity. If not, then I'm just going to very investigatively look around for something shiny. With your investiga uh, perception check before, you don't really uh, notice anyone around you. Well, in that case, I'm going to look for shiny. Right, you have noticed that there is guards patrolling. Uh, ever, every five minutes or so. See, see, got pass. So I need, so I got like four minutes and thirty seconds to find something shiny. You think, to get you out think so? It. You think so? <laughs> well, let's do this quickly then. All right. So what are you doing? Well, I'm looking for shiny. So I guess investigation. Well, the window is a glass window. God dang it! <laughs> well, is it locked? Uh, yeah. It's a, uh, it's a uh, closed. So yeah, it's a uh, held down. Can I pick it? <laughs> um, you can certainly try. Um, make a dex check and add your proficiency with your thief stills. Do I just double click dex then? No, no. It, you take your proficiency and add it to your dex. So plus three to your dex. You can scroll the modifier down there, the little modifier one. Just hold over the uh, zero and just scroll up to th three and then roll a d20. Oh, the modifier. Why only three? The proficiency or what? Mm hmm So, now what am I doing? Rolling a d20? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not very good. Yeah, the, the window doesn't seem to budge. The lock is really not meant for picking i'm gonna look down at my uh, dear magical sheep friend you wouldn't happen to know something that can maybe open a window it, it seems somebody in there is really in need of help make a deception check <laughs> well, you so guys are... much for stealing uh... something <laughs> deception you say yeah Uh, let me see where is where is he? Uh, NPC. You see him uh, look towards you like some, somebody is hurt. I think so. I, I, I can't be too sure with this window in the way. I need to go inside to make sure he's he's fine. What are, what are you waiting for? Jump through. <laughs> through the glass? I mean, I could hurt him and hurt myself, and then we both need help. I mean, are you um, a medical doctor? I am not, no. But we need to open this window. Break through it. I don't think that's going to work. That's going to alert a lot, lot, lot more. Maybe that, somebody... Yeah, that might be a good back. idea, won't it? If he's hurt. Well, but what if the guy who hurt him comes back? Then there will be a lot of people that would know. I don't think that's a good idea. I just remembered I don't even have a medicine kit, so I probably can't even help the guy. Uh oh I'm going to run to the guards. Well, you're a sheep. I don't think the guards understand very much what you're saying. You see him run off. <laughs> and after well a little while, <laughs> while talking, you see this sheep stumble up the stairs and into the room where you two are sitting. And you just hear, well, they hear, bah, 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 and you hear him start shout, uh, help, somebody in the house next to the prison. That's the sheep I was talking about. Yeah, he can talk. Can you hear it? Yeah, he's a loud one. Um, could you make him go away? Sure. Can I'm you get him a drink and we'll leave? 
Make me. Yes, your water, right? So yeah. <laughs> water hasn't come. Uh okay, but I can have my seat, right? You you are sitting. Okay, so I stand up and take the chair with me. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna follow after the sheep, and once I see it run into the prison, I'm gonna go in after it. All right. So just tell me when I enter the prison. You're real quite just after it uh, shouted. You can't take the chair, Robin. Why not? He said take a seat. <laughs> Don't take it too literally. What? <laughs> just, just stand up and go out. No, I want to see it. It's very comfortable. Or I have to kill you. It's, I mean... <laughs> um. Very righteous, righteous paladin we got there. <laughs> Am I in the room yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were just after it started screaming the sheep. So, as soon as I enter, I see those two guys doing whatever they're doing. <laughs> I'm just gonna slightly walk up to the sheep. Uh, Oh, oh, there you are! Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. This this little guy just just ran out. He he ran away from 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 our little farm up north in the town, and I've been running around all day looking for him. So I'm just gonna you know take him back. And I'm so sorry for all the disturbances he's caught, done to all of you. And then take, <laughs> make take a the sheep and lead it outside. Make a deception check with advantage. Ooh. Oof. You just see the warden stand uh, up after the argument about the chair and uh, look at you and say Oh, well we found who owns the sheep? He looks back to you guys Seems like I was right then I guess so Well, you're both free to leave Thank okay. you And with the guy in jail The orc Yes And, and I need a you your uh, chair as well we, We're keeping the chair, sir I know, but I want my water. <laughs> I'm um, sorry. I guess I'm long gone. Yeah, you you just headed out. I, I need some water. You you I'm promised going me inside. water. I need water now. You, you promised. Right. Um, we get we gotta go. But they promised me water, free water. That's too bad. We can get no. water later. Come on. No. Robin, let's no. go. Water. You see the, the warden leave, and after half a minute or so, he comes back with a glass of water. Um, yes, ah. yes, sir. Thank you. No, very much. please take your leave. Okay, I'll leave with a glass of water. Thank you. He's stealing more than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this is from the law. Well, I guess this <laughs> this is going great. Corrupted. I'm, uh, Very good water. I'm gonna take the sheep back, uh, you know, just crossing back towards the house we just came from, and then I'm just gonna, you know, pretend to look inside the window again. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, it seems, sir. Uh, it seems he, he he was he was okay. He was just taking a nap on the floor, so he's up now. <laughs> Am I rolling persuasion <laughs> again or deception? Um, deception. Yeah, not telling the truth. Oh, I'm clearly telling the truth here. Oh, who are you talking to? Well, the sheep, the one running around to all lawmen, trying to see if he can find somebody to help this poor guy. He's, he looks at you and says, "Oh, that was that's lucky." Yeah, it was, uh, it, 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 it was dark in the alley, so I mean, I, I couldn't see clearly. I just thought he was hurt. But oh, the, ma that makes sense. It, oh. All the, all, all the red in there must have been wine, and I just, I mean, he must have fallen asleep on the floor, drunk. Oh, haven't we yeah. all tried that? Yeah, it happens to the best of us. Yes. So, to my home? Well... I guess so. We just need to get those... Well, the other companions of mine just need to come along and then we're gonna go straight to your home, get that very shiny, probably expensive wand so you can stop being a sheep and go back to being that fancy awesome wizard that you are. You just see him become very happy and you just hear, bah! Oh, thank you. 
You're welcome, sir. Just remember, you promised payment. Ah, uh, yes. And then I guess we wait for our two very uh, the, fine compatriots. That will be. Uh, that won't be uh, a few minutes after they uh, come out. Well, I guess I'm gonna go look through other windows and see if everybody <laughs> in town is safe. I mean, just nearby. There must be more windows. <laughs> Um, you have like, two minutes, so sure. Make uh, you can make me make one more house or so. So make a per uh, perception check. I need to, to do something about this. How can I have nothing in investigation? <laughs> <laughs> so you go up to the next house. Uh, look inside. Uh, on you only see you see a little bit of a finer house this time. Um, there's a, a fireplace with. Uh, with this, with the, like a small chest on top of it, uh, and under the fireplace, in front of the fire, is uh, someone's child playing. You don't see why, any parents. Why do they need to have a god dang child? Well, I'm gonna look at uh, my trusty little sheep sidekick here, and then uh, could could you maybe um, go out to to the end of this alleyway? Do you mean look down towards the prison? So when you see the others, you can tell them that, that we're here, so we can get on, you know? Make a persuasion check. God dang fucking mm -hmm. sheep. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you planning to do? Well, I'm just looking around, really. Nothing much. I don't think you should touch other people's things. Well, we're in an alleyway. Do, do the people own this alleyway? I'm just, I need to take away. Could you please? They own the house you just looked in. Yeah, well, I'm trying to make sure I'm not going to take my wee-wee out and pee right here whilst people are looking. <laughs> make I mean, another deception check. <laughs> this is horrible. He does not believe you. I think you should come with me. Why? Because we have to hurry. Well, as long as those two guys aren't out, we can't do much. So if you want to hurry, you should try and look for those guys. As soon as they're there, bring them over and then we can move on immediately. Oh, but there they are. <laughs> what like horrible a woman. <laughs> <laughs> you don't steal from the law. You're a paladin. You see Why the sheep call you over. Hey, over here! Oh, there's a sheep. And cheeky. Oh, hey guys! What are you guys doing in an alley? Nothing much. Just waiting for you guys. Don't want to be too close to that jail. I Gives focus. me the jeebus. I can understand that. I focus on cheeky. Very <laughs> planning to steal again. Make an inside check. <laughs> you can uh, respond with the deception if you want to. Uh, I guess I am. <laughs> he, nope. he seems hard to read. He seems you, can, you can't really tell if he's been uh, okay. abnormal. Also, uh, I have this glass. I don't know why. You forgot to put it back. Let's put it like that. Don't, don't worry. I, I can take care of that glass. I'm just going to put it <laughs> in my bag and then nobody's going to worry about that. Okay. I'll I... give it to See? We should probably get a move on. Fellas. Are you going to add a glass to my inventory then? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> Fucking why not? <laughs> you never know. I may, might need a glass at some point. <laughs> Well, you know, we have a glass, we have a sheep. You get my thinking? No. Good. I think we might just, you know, need to get out of nope. town. No. And we should towards... probably, yeah, to the south. Well, I know, I know the way to my house. Well, fairy friend, then you'll lead the way. Oh, thank you. The sheep starts leading the way out of town. And uh, he starts talking a lot about how beautiful his house is. What an accomplishment it was to, to get such a nice house. 
Right. And after a while, it becomes a little annoying to hear. He seems very uh, confident <laughs> in himself and his abilities. And uh, is is the spell gone yet? It is, it is not gone yet. Well, remember, when it's gone, we're just going to hit... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the path to his, ho- to his house is uh, a little off the main road, uh, a few miles out of town. Uh, you head into big, like a big forest, and you dart in between a lot of uh, gaps and bushes. And after a while, you come to a pretty well-trodden route that begins to uh, weave its way between the very tall oak trees in the, in the forest. I just remembered something. We are walking along the main road with a sheep. Yes. It tells us it's a it's a it's a wizard in sheep form. And then it trots off the main road into a dark forest and we're still following it. <laughs> seems seems legit. <laughs> Any chance I can roll for stealth and maybe follow very stealthily? Uh, you would ha- have a hard time keeping up, but you can. Well, it's a goddamn sheep. How fast can it go? <clears throat> Pretty damn fast, actually. Faster than you. <laughs> well, I'll, I guess so. Um, could could we maybe do just go a wee bit slower? I mean, these tiny legs of mine aren't as fast as I would want them to be. Um, sure. Perfect. Gonna roll for that stealth then. All right. I think you're pretty stealthy. The one so, thing I'm good at. So um, you, you head off the main road for a bit, <clears throat> and between a lot of bushes, and after a while, you come to this path that seems to be well well trotted. There seems to have been a lot of people here recently. And um, looks like all sorts of, tr- of tracks on this road. Looks a little weird to you. Um, the track continues through uh, pretty sparse woodland for probably around a mile out without any really sign of uh, habitation at all. Mm. And um, at this point you start, he starts, uh, <clears throat> when he talks about his fine home out in the woods, it starts to morph into and then there's the... Uh, oh, thank God. Finally. Now you just have the sheep. We're still talking, but... Any chance the sheep understands common? Well, I can try. You can understand us, but we can't. Um... Dear, dear furry friend, uh, it seems the magic's worn off, so we don't understand you anymore. And, and, and unless you want to alert everybody at your establishment that we are coming, you per- might want to lower that voice just a lot. Uh, you see the sheep look down a little and looks a little sad that no one can understand him anymore. But it's like he's had a lot, of t- a lot to talk about and had no one to talk to. Uh, but he, he understands what you're saying. I'm gonna put my hand out of the bush and then just slightly tap him gently on the head. Mm-hmm. Um, seems a little comforted by it and uh, starts leading you guys again. Um, after a little while, the uh, the house you're looking for starts to... Uh, peek in amongst the, the, the treetops. And uh, rather than a stone or a, or grass, a uh, glass, I mean, <coughs> the house um, in front of you seemed to be in, uh, formed by living branches of four sturdy oak trees. Living. These have been uh, shaped and woven to create three uh, thick pla- platforms. Uh, and the lowest of these platforms are roughly around 40 feet across and it sits about 10 feet from the ground. Uh, the only obvious route um, 
up to the platform is like a gentle slope formed out of roots and branches that connects uh, roughly through the from the main path and uh, by the f uh, in the middle by far the largest of the, tr uh, the of the platforms is uh, it's probably around fifth no it's more like 60 feet across and about 20 feet above the ground and uh, it's fully enclosed with walls uh, formed from twisting branches and uh, you can see that uh, there's even the spaced windows uh, well, window gaps um, as well as what you think is what should be a door on the side of this uh, platform oh. <clears throat> um, closest to the, to the garden and the final tallest platform is probably around 30 feet um, above the ground and it's uh, much smaller than the other ones it looks like it's linked to the central platform by another small slope. And uh, scattered beneath is uh, all the platforms are two uh, wooden huts and a large, uh, a large outhouse. Alright. Interesting. So there was like these three plateaus. Oh, okay. Guess we're getting the map. Yeah, that's what you. Uh... If it wants to load, mm. might take a while. There we go. That's pretty big. So the one near the floor is it this one? Uh, yes. So you just see the top of this, and uh, <clears throat> walking a bit closer, you you see a uh, trio, like three um, apes. Uh, that is a plain apes, like monkeys, that are playing with a pair of oversized uh, dice on the lawn outside, and they kind of have these big iron great sword. Uh, stuck into the ground next to them. What now? Excalibur. Uh, anyone else found those monkeys suspicious? They're just playing. So you see these uh, what a three apes. Great sword. And they have a, a great sword stuck in next to them, so while they're playing they have the weapons next to them. Where are we at the <clears> moment? <throat> You are in the bottom of the... Any chance uh, from the bottom you can sneak up and take a peek into the huts? Well, you can try. Well, I'm just going to take a tiny peek, guys, just to see what we are up against here. All right. You do you, Cheeky. Just gonna resize the map here so I can get to my stats. There we go. So do I need to roll stealth again? Or I'm just rolling with the other one. Uh, stealth again. Fair enough. All right. And I'm going for for these huts. Okay. And then the other one above it, if I can. Sure. Uh, go ahead and uh, you, you go ahead and stealth over there, and uh, you take a look inside. <clears throat> From it's the looks perception. of it, it's not that uh, hard to see. Inside seems like a uh, an outside bedroom for for guests. Do I see anything immediately inside? Maybe, I don't know, they have a goblet standing on the table or something for wine. Make an investigation check. And here we have the problem again. <laughs> <laughs> investigation. All right, not bad. 
Uh, and the, that's basically just the bed is made. There's the chair and the and the table, and the, there's this small uh, candle holder on the on the table with a like half a candle in. Does it look worth anything? It's probably made of uh, of some kind of metal. Uh, you don't really think this is a very. Uh, it could be, it could be copper, but you don't really, you can't really tell. Well, what the heck? I'm hmm. gonna pocket it. Okay, sure. And then I move on to the other house, I guess. Make another stealth check. Uh -huh. Ooh, that one I can reroll. That was right. Better. Alright, so you managed to head to the other one as well? Oh, thank god! Sneaking up to the other one. Um, <clears throat> seems like a place where there's uh, materials for uh, for uh, taking care of the garden area. Uh, there's a few workbenches in there and uh, just chairs. And it seems like this place haven't been there. Uh, been used too much since um, the wizard you are having with you was turned into sh uh, into sheep. Okay. Obviously, not a lot of value in here. What is the rest of you guys doing? Like sitting with the sheep. All right. Praying for a chicky. I'm looking at the sword and stone, thinking, what if it is Excalibur? <laughs> The like sheep. Uh, it's not a stone. It's not a stone. <laughs> the sheep looks at one of the buildings and then he seems yeah. like he's he's found something and then he says, "Bah!" Shh. Quiet. And you just see one of the apes turn. And he's like, Stay hidden. They start to walk over in your direction. Just don't move. Yeah. Which direction are they headed? Your, like straight. Straight. Yep, straight they see straight. you. They no, they're going for you. Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> that was a natural twenty. What the uh, what the uh, what was wow. the light thingy I found? That's a candle holder. Oh, that's cool. There we go. Right, Chiki, you're going to roll the initiative as well. Well, I'm inside the building. Do I notice they're in for a fight? You probably hear the apes make a little more no noise than they usually do. Well, I'm going to look outside and once I see it, I'm going to roll for initiative. Okay, we just rolled now. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm just looking for it okay. again. All right. <clears throat> Well, God dang it. So you guys see these apes come towards you. Prepare for combat, Lorben. Sheep, stay behind. Mm -hmm. And I grab my quarter stuff, I appear from my hand. Okay. Aim at, aim at one of the monkeys coming towards us and shoot out two Eldritch Blast uh, beams. <clears throat> All right. So this one is probably closed. There you go. Mm -hmm. So one of them hits. All right. You just see this weird-looking magic just shoot out. <laughs> just hit one of the apes, and it's, it starts screaming. And just the others seem scared at first, but then they turn to look, and they just seem to be running directly towards you now. Oh, that's a lovely. Is there anything else you want to do? Move here. All right. <clears throat> Evil apes. Evil. Hmm. That's it? Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, 
you hear a voice come from inside the house on the on the right side. And it seems okay. like a male voice. Okay. And he, he looks at you and says, Oh, you come. I'm going to tell you to return that sheep to me. Sorry, can't do. If you don't, I'm going to destroy you all. Ooh. Destroy, uh, you say. Yeah. This guy just steps barely out of the, uh, the outhouse on the side here. I'm gonna give you to the count of three. You have that time to turn over the sheep, and I'm gonna have all my men come at you. Hmm. What if I told you there were multiple people hidden around, just waiting for your men? I don't doubt it. Would you be so sure of that, though? I'm pretty sure. All these sentient creatures have transformed. My turn on you. Just like this sheep. I can guarantee you they won't. Hmm. And I have no more words to spill on you. I'm gonna count to three. Well, I'm not moving. You look, take a look at the sheep and he definitely doesn't want to go ahead and... Uh, and give him himself up. You start seeing him count. One. Two. I, mean, one. I can't do anything, right? Well, you can. Like? Give the sheep up. We should have uh, totally taken a short rest before this, guys. <laughs> Probably. Three. I thought, like, shoot a blast at him or something, busy. When he, show, when he says uh, three, I say two. <laughs> yeah. Um, you see a massive bear rush out beside him. Oh, like, man. I thought you said men. Down to you. Yeah, another one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is his men. Once this guy just. I'm going to slash him. This guy just stands back on his uh, his uh, hind legs and he just charges forward with a bite towards you. Oh, that's a miss. What is this? And then he just rears back on the back legs and just takes a huge swipe. Oof. Uh, that misses as well. Yep, and I'm hitting it with my staff right in the nose. Well, it didn't hit you. Oh, but I can use my reaction. Also, if it didn't uh, hit you? Yeah, it's in my reach. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. So you take your staff. <laughs> your men are ra rather weak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this guy casts uh, enlarge on the bear. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um, let's Probably see. I need to see what it gets. Swole bear. Yeah, definitely. It gets double as big as it is right now. Double as big? Yes. Hmm. Okay. So it's a monstrous bear. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, pretty fucking huge. Uh... Okay, so he deals, he deals some extra damage. Cool. And he's like double in size now. He's false. He's, yeah, he's a. Uh, is it monstrous? I don't actually know. I don't know how big the bear is before it got doubled. He's large. Ooh, isn't he huge then? Well. Um, I'll see if it I can make him enlarge. Okay, he, he doesn't get enlarged on the map, but he has the buff on him. So he's like... Well, if now. he's if he's large, he fills up three squares. And if he's huge, he's seven. Three yeah. by three. Yeah. 
<laughs> and if he is gigantuan, he's four by four. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's just say this guy is fucking big. I'm not gonna change the size of anything, but he's fucking huge. And uh, Hold on. he retreats inside. Wow. Well, oh, okay. This uh, Finthia Shine Bright is uh, too scared to do anything. Uh, but here comes the apes. One run down to the to the paladin. Shit. It has uh, brought his big iron sword and it's gonna take a swing at you. You mean the Excalibur? Oh no. yeah, and it hits you. But you see, they say dragging oh, the sword God. next to him, it seems pretty damn strong. And just down in the shoulder. And you almost take a knee from the hit. Next one runs up to, uh, to Flame Master, also bringing a sword. What's that sudden change in? <laughs> I changed in what? Sudden change in animals. Hmm? They're, they're no, no, apes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But they're apes that hurt. But this guy just swings down. <laughs> you just hear the sword fall out of his hand and he has to like spend a bonus action to just <laughs> go grab it again. And last one hits down as well. Fall open. Makes an attack. Oh boy! Down. This guy's angry. Takes his sword up. And this time you do take a knee. And you just swing to one side. And pass out. Oh! It made the death roll for you. I'll turn that off. But you made you saved. That was a save. If you want to keep it, I'm fine with that. But I'll turn that I'll thing off. It. Um... Yeah. yeah. Safe. <sighs> okay. Give me just that a happens. sec. I need to uh, <laughs> somehow. <sighs> we should have done that short rest thingy. Mm -hmm. Probably. There we go. I completely forgot to ask right, how everybody was. Yeah, well, people were pretty shitty. You have a all of you have a potion, by the way. I oh, that's lovely. Well. To start with, I'm just gonna go outside. Yes. Right. And then I'm gonna see a tower like bear, uh, <laughs> many apes. Not gonna see my trusty Lorben standing on his feet, seeing the annoying sheep. And then I'm gonna use my bonus action to dash. Mm -hmm. And then I got 30 feet. An extra 30 feet, so I got f 55 feet left. Yes. Which gets me here. Mm -hmm. Can I, you know, whilst running, I got those two daggers. Can I throw one of them at one of them ape thingies? Sure. Well, I'm going to take the one straight ahead of me right mm -hmm. here. Okay. How do I do this then? <clears throat> There's a throne. Oh, that one. I don't think I can... Sneak attack is only with a melee attack, isn't it? Uh, yes. I don't... Where is it? I think I so. Know, no, 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 it isn't. No, it isn't. <laughs> Cough. So I can use sneak attack Not. on this stagger throw. Yes. You also have advantage because they have not seen you. Okay, Ooh. so advantage. Sneak attack. Roll for the attack. That's a hit. Ooh. And then roll for the damage. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the Dark Flame just, just sees this... This guy just fall down. And reveal behind him the sprinting uh, tea leaf. Ready for battle. Hey, tea leaf. Lobin, no! Yeah. I mean, I got, I got a potion in my other hand ready to just spill it. I'm <laughs> kind of looking around, seeing a huge ass bear next to me. Lobin crashed and the sheep shivering. Two monkeys trying to attack me, and I'm like. I think hiding would be the better option here. Just 
slam my quarter stuff in the ground and use darkness. All around you. Um, I can <clears throat> choose, right? Yeah. Uh, that's my point you choose. Make a make a pointer. How big is the darkness? Fifteen feet. So fucking huge. Yep. Um. So make a pointer for where you want it. Right click and close the bear me and Lord. Hold on. <clears throat> Maybe about here. There's in the way, but there. Oh, that not that kind of partner, but okay. I was thinking this kind of pointer. So where? Here? Oh, that. Uh, do, you want, do you want it here or? Yeah, just so Cheeky isn't in. He isn't, no. Okay. Good. I'm just outside. Good. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, anything else? Um. Probably yes. pick up Lobin and run. They can probably still attack me, right? No, they can't see you. They can't really see you, so they wouldn't know if you ran. Oh, so if I grabbed Lorben and got out of the darkness... They probably would know that you ran, but not to where. Unless you okay, hit, so run into them, but you can see. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to run to TD, like, past the monkeys, past okay. the dead one. Okay. Grab Lorben and just drag him with me. Alright, so you have half your speed because you're dragging him. Okay, so 5, 10, 15. There. Right. Good thing I can see through darkness. <laughs> and we left the sheep inside. <laughs> you did. Which is fine. It's totally fine. I mean, he can go get the sheep. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Alright, so that's your turn? Yep. Alright, you hear the bear. <gasps> that's a huge ass bear. <laughs> and just a... And he walks out of the of the darkness, and it's just pissed. He can't see anyone. Thank God. He walks a little further. Poof, poof, poof. Good thing he has seen this. It takes up the guard action. Uh, he, this guy cannot see anything either, and he's just hiding inside <laughs> until he can see somebody, so he can uh, take them out. The sheep, you just hear, bah! and this guy just runs off. All right. Well, I guess that happened. That's good. That's you know, good. And uh, then there's the ape. Oh no. This ape hits out, and then sees, oh, you're still here. And then just dragging the sword. <clears throat> He just takes another swing. At the, uh, he takes a swing at the uh, cheeky. Oof. Oof! But he misses. <laughs> it's those he, reflexes. The other guy runs out as well, but he hits you immediately. And he gets smashed in the face with a cord of stuff. Uh, he will try and make an attack at, uh, at you, even though he can't see you, he just ran into you, so he's just gonna try and hit you with a disadvantage. Okay. Uh, but he misses with it. Well, and you said you were gonna do something? Yeah, I'm going to attack him. Alright. With my quarter star. Alright. So you just see him pop out. And then he, you can see that he can't really see where you are, so he just kaboom, and he just looks even more confused now as where to where you run to, like he's being toyed with inside all of this darkness. All right, uh, Robin, another death save. Yeah. Ooh, 
That's not that's good. A, that's a failure. All right, so one success, one failure. Cheeky? Well, uh, I do happen to have that stupid ape nearby. Yeah, you, but you can't see him. Yeah, yeah I can see him. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. You have the one outside. I was thinking about the one inside. Um, Cheeky's gonna go for the disengage again as a bonus, and then move over over here to, to Lorben, and then right. just pour that potion inside his throat. And then I'm, I don't know if I need to remove it from my inventory or what I do. Yeah, I can remove it if you want to. Okay, you can really see it pains me to, to pour my very valuable potion inside Lorben. <laughs> Hopefully he has you back later. Uh, so go ahead and roll the uh, 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 two two, plus 2. So just two. modify, just roll, t uh, roll up to plus 2 and then take 2d4s. So just hold the d4 and click the right mouse button, then you have another one. Ah, like that, and then throw them. Alright, so you get 5 yep. uh, hit points. So you're back alive. Uh, and ready to heal himself. <laughs> Probably. All right, Dark Flame Master. Dark Flame Master. Yeah, I'm going to have some good old whacking against an enemy that can't see. So first off, I'll smash him. Can't just stop. That's a hit. <laughs> Ooh. Use my bonus to smash him with the back of it. Wait, I, I gotta, I gotta roll. Woo. Oh, that's not a hit. Wait, do we need to roll for hit or not? Let's see. Yes, of course. Uh, okay. Uh, and my last attack. Oof. Yeah, last attack to get him. Just. <laughs> And you're the only one who can see this guy just fall backwards into the to the darkness. And I'm like, shoop, my quarter staff back on my shoulder, walk mm -hmm. towards the ape. Huh? Last one. <laughs> well, there's a huge fucking bear coming at you. Well, he doesn't know where you are, right? <laughs> well, he's probably looking. He's looking. <laughs> yeah, he is. And he does so now. Walking in the same path that he took before, and he sees a uh, tea leaf, and you just see him rear, ba rear back and. Oh and shit! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, first of all, he's just gonna try and bite you. Ooh, he does so. So it takes seven points of damage, and then he's just gonna go in for like a big claw. The claw is probably as big as you at this point. <coughs> and again, he does hit you. Oh! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use my reaction to, to, to halve that. Good idea. So, so that was... six damage. Yes. Holy shit. There we go. <clears throat> but I'm still... I'm bleeding now. That, that claw really, really... Well, it, it fucking hurt. It's almost as big as you and you just... <laughs> swept away almost. Huh. This guy can't really see you. Uh, the sheep is... Uh, <laughs> he can't see any of you guys. He's just running around over here. Trying to hide in the, in the bushes over here. I'll make a, a stealth check for him. That's a little one. <laughs> so, so he thinks he's pretty damn hidden over there. He's, but he's just a... Bah, bah, bah. The last day he purged you. Even though it doesn't speak to you, you can see that, again, this guy has intelligent eyes. And he just looks at you like he's been making a, made, made a fool of. And he just takes a huge swing. Boom. Oh. Uh, how much damage does it take? That's the last of. Well, 
That should have been yeah. off, right? Yeah, it's off. Do you keep the tempo HP for the day? Like, does it just stay there forever? What? No, it's gone. The temp HP? Yeah. Okay. So you took a massive hit from this guy. Uh, Lorben, you can finally stand up now. Yeah. Does he get... And we're all bleeding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> searching for a... Time to use some of that good old healing. Yeah, I know. I'm searching for the right one. Uh, Lay on hands one or... Actually, uh, make a um, constitution save. Uh, check. Oh yeah, me? Yes. Alright. Oof, darkness disappears. Ta-da, there are your corpses. Well, at least the sheep can see us. Mm. And you can see him because he's not hiding very well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to teach him how to do that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So what are you assessing for, uh, Lauren? A uh, good healing spell that can heal all of us? Uh, you don't have one that can heal all of you at the same time. Can the lay of hands be split? But not in, uh, not in one action, I think. I can, I'll check. Maybe. Uh, you can touch a creature as an action. So only one creature. Kiki, you saved me. I have to... So you have, uh, if you want to use it all at w once, you can spend 20 points. But it goes into 5, so 5, 10, 15, or 20. So you decide how much you want to give uh, to Cheeky. You can give half, you can do whatever. I think I think you need to remember to keep some for yourself, unless you have other healing spells. He has Q wounds as well. <laughs> so he has, he can uh, bump Q wounds up at, uh, to level 2 at some point. Yeah, he, uh, he has a lot of healing left. If he just spends the rest of his turns healing, he, you, you guys are gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. Well, hopefully I can kill the bear in one turn. Then we're gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you gonna lose, use uh, Leon hands or Q wounds? Um, going to use Leon hands. All right. So just uh, open the little uh, thing and then click the heal uh, for as many times as you want to use it. Okay. Can he see if I get better so that he doesn't just pump all of it into me? So I can tell tell him once I look fine. Uh, it's kind of like at once, so he can okay. make a medicine roll, uh, me medicine check, Lorburn, just for okay. the hell of it. All right, so you can see that Chigi wouldn't need all of it. So, like... but but probably at least. Uh, so like half a half of it would be a good estimate. Okay, so just we need to throw two times then. Yeah. Heal and... Yeah, that, there you go. Okay. So you you just see uh, Lorben hold out this amulet of his, and you just see this divine light shine down as as he touches uh, uh, tea leaf, and you instantly start to feel better. You see those uh, giant claw marks down my chest uh, sort of close up again? Yeah. And I start to get, you know, vision back in my eyes. So now he starts looking crazy again. Well, my, my gentle eyes are back. <laughs> uh, do you want to do anything else, Lobin? Uh, can I still attack? And do you have a bonus action? Otherwise, no. Well, you can um, use Dutch, can't you? Is that an action? Which one? Dutch. No, that's an action. Oh. I don't think so. Alright. So, Can um, I even hit him? It... It will get, it will get cover. 
Okay. You'll get uh, a lot of cover. He gets minus five to his attack if he tries to. So you are the obvious target here. Well, not but... if I kill him first. <laughs> that's true. I'm just Very saying. True. So that's what you want to do, right? Just now, just uh, prepare for next uh, next time. Yes. All right. Cheeky. Well, since my trusty, trusty friend is uh, within five feet. Oh, no. You have sneak attack. I do. So let's activate that power up and then we're going to go for the swing. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's horrible. Uh, you didn't target, but I'll check. Ah. Uh, no, that is not a hit on him. Um, I don't have a lot of options here. Well, since I got a healer close by, I mean, I can't just abandon the guy with like five health. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for that offhand hit. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That, actually that is hit. Yeah, that is the hit there. I was off by one. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you were off by one. <laughs> Whoa, uh, that was with... Yeah, sure, you can do it once per turn. Well, I guess I hit him then. Yeah. <laughs> so, the main hand doesn't want to go, but the off hand just... <laughs> into the bear. Hey, whatever works, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And you say into the bear, you really mean it's paws. You remember that I'm three, I'm three feet tall. Standing. Yeah, and well, you're. It pretty much looks like a mountain in front of me, so I'm stabbing its paw. And the, the, to, the sword just artery, digs its way through the paw, and your hand also disappears into the wound. So big the. That's how big the bear is. You're gonna go down for what you did. <laughs> you just feel the breeze of his breath. Oh boy. Time to club down this evil. That's it. Ooh! Are you kidding Bonus me? Bonus action. So, uh, attack. Mm hmm. That's it. And a one. So, seven damage. Uh huh. And. Uh, did you apply it or? Oh, do I have to apply it? Yeah, I, I can't. I mean, I have to change the dice for. Ah, sure. So um, sure. It's just a one shot anyway, so I don't want to. Uh... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he's uh, looking uh, pretty bad. Whoop! That's an automatic miss. Uh, so you just almost stumble, but you just it, oh. take this, the quarter staff and position it in the ground and just balance yourself and put your, push yourself back up. And you just see they. You can see that. We really don't need a miss right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not anymore. No, we're not missing as well. Alright, so that's your turn? Yep. Alright. Again, you just see this guy. Well, <laughs> takes a, takes a oh, huge okay. nosedive into, a, into Cheeky. <laughs> Hits him with the bite. We're gonna reaction that again. So I'm gonna take five. So I need to take six off. Yes. God damn. And then he goes in for the for the claws. You put, you put more on. <laughs> oh, fuck. You, you, you killed me even more. I kill you. There we go. And then he goes in for the claws. And that hits as well. Oh my god, please mess for once. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is real. I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm bleeding as much as I can. <laughs> you can. I mean, Lorden can see, even if he as much as breathes in my direction, I'm going to die. Uh, this is going to be some good bit of You see the sheep just take the dash action. Towards? And come over and try and take some hits for you. Take some, uh, take some hits for you guys. You see, what? He's seen you just... <laughs> Battle for its sake, and it's it's just throwing itself in there for you. The ape is still in a duel with the the dark flame master. Hell one. 
Oh. Ooh. And he just. Oh, you just hit it away with the with the quarter staff. I think. And not. Uh, he's uh, quite open right now for uh, another attack. Quarter blow. Okay. Time for some extra heal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Chicky and yourself are looking quite bad. Uh, Chick. But I'm worse. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and I mean that, I am worse. I give you two times of uh, lay of hands again, because that's what I can do. You can also bump uh, Leon, uh, cure wounds up to a second level spell. Oh. Then it does a fuck ton of healing. Then I'll do that instead. All right, so you rolled, uh, you rolled two d8s. So d8 is... Plus eight. three. How one. Do, one. How do I add a plus three to it? Uh, over over in the oh. left uh, hand side in the corner, yeah. you see the modifier. Just scroll up until it says plus three. Okay. And then you make a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's a nice 10. Oh, yeah, the, yeah that's a d10. Right, then the one makes... next to it. Okay, okay. And so do the plus three and... Uh, yes. One, two, three. Hmm. Alright. So 11 points of healing. Maybe one more. I would rather have the 15, but <laughs> yes. Yeah, well that was D10, so... Sorry. There we go. Cheeky's looking a little better. But the bear's looking fierce as always. All right. Anything else you want to do, Lopin? Can't do anything. Really. All right. Well, you're doing a lot. <laughs> All right, Chiki. Well, I need to kill this bear. Do I still have the bear as a target? Just making sure. <laughs> yeah, you do. Well, well, my trusty friends. Now I got two of them nearby, so not that I need to <laughs> find more, but it's still applied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm desperately just swinging at this guy. It hits. And I'm gonna. Mm. Fucking stab him. Oh, that's a good roll. Ooh. Oh! And that motherfucker goes down. So just as he was trying to uh, to take another bite of you, you just inside the mouth. And it just stops moving and just hit it loud. As it just falls, like the feet just give in. And it's just on its stomach. And then you just see it shrink. And I'm gonna use my movement because I've been hearing fighting behind me. So oh yeah. I'm gonna go help this guy out. All right, ape is right open. And I am gonna go for the hit. Why oh. did I have advantage for this? Oh. Well. Uh, well, you're not gonna kill my crit here, are you? <laughs> oh, you, you were talking right to the bear. He is uh, dead, so you have advantage. <laughs> well, he's unconscious. Well, do I still get the crit? No, <laughs> you roll again. <laughs> okay. Oh. No, it's not a miss. You're gonna go again. Okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry. So, you didn't that expect is. the ape to be that open after uh, Dark Flame Master, Master just swung his uh, sword away. So, he just he almost takes a few steps back and he's just not in reach. And you just fling one of the swords out. And uh, the sword just lands over here. <laughs> oh, so the one you had in your offhand is just lying over there. So I gotta go get my sword. <laughs> <laughs> well, god dang it. If you have any more movement, you can get there. Well, I'm gonna probe attack opportunity. And no? I'm not if you go not... through uh, Dark Flame Master. You mean, like, as a... Like, go here and then move on from there? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to increase it to here. How much movement do I have? I used 10, so I got 20 left, so I can get here. Oh, no, it lands down here, like where the <laughs> yes. arrow is. Oh, down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to move over here then. Yeah. And then and you, can, you can just pick it up. Well, I'm going to pick up my sword. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just cursing to yourself. God damn it. Dark Flame Master. <coughs> Did we just sell that? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Just uh, start laughing. <laughs> I mean, I can't really use any spells at the moment, so I was thinking of 
double handing my quarter off so it gets a dice eight. But okay. I'm not sure if that's. Uh, we need damage. to kill it, so just go for those two big eight eights. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't do damage. I think. Mm. It's only one dice six. I think so, yeah. I mean, if I could change it to versatile, you know. Oh, you know. want to do that? Yeah. But, you know, kind of hard. Why? Uh, because it doesn't do instant damage. So I have to roll, and then you have to apply it. Mm, what? Well, I can only see one dice six plus four, so... Uh, give me a sec. Okay. Change the wrong thing. <clears throat> uh... Oh shit, not that. There you go. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Uh, first attack. Yeah. Second attack. Yes, as well. Ooh. Ah, it? <laughs> just in two like hands, just cis style, just push. And uh, when you get up from uh, from picking up your dagger, he's just falling right next to you, and you're sad because you didn't take him out. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm sad. I did kill the well, you monstrous did. house <laughs> you there. Did. David versus Goliath. And you see this guy uh, come out and now see that you're taking out all his stuff uh, on the outside. And uh, he looks a little frustrated and he, you see that he's chanting something. Wait, I see this? Yes. Can I, like, shoot something at him? It's his turn, no. So, no. Oh, okay. So you see him chant something and suddenly. He's just not there. Alright, so we stay in initiative order. This guy uh, runs over and uh, licks Norban, <laughs> trying to heal his wounds, but nothing happens. Ah, uh. uh, I feel dizzy. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I can heal myself with lay on hand, right? Yeah. Cool. Touch yourself. <laughs> okay. Appropriate, you guys. That's all I can do, right? Yeah, yeah. Feels okay. much better. Hmm. Yeah. I feel so much smarter now. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to move anywhere? You saw the uh, wizard just disappear. That's weird, yes. Uh, perhaps inside this thing. Where? So, no. any, any, anyway, you want to move to? He, he, does, he didn't seem done with you guys. It's uh, probably going to enchant himself. Uh, I, I wanted to go in this house. If there is. The small one uh, right next to you? Yes. Yes. Alright, as you head in, you immediately take your hand to your nose and try to cover it because it stinks in here. Yeah. This is the outhouse. Yeah, of course. The toilet. Great. Mm. And I walk out. <laughs> right. You see you, you just see Lobrin come out. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hmm. Alright, Chiki? Yeah. So we can't see him. <laughs> you, you cannot see him. I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> well, uh, I guess uh, I'm just gonna go in to the bush and use my hide action, I guess, right. to stealth. Mm -hmm. Make a stealth check. Yes. 
maybe before I go, uh, sort of tell Dark that we. I, I think I think we might need to get out of here. And then I'm gonna go for the stealth and wait for further anything. Okay. Well, that's horrible. As far as you think, you're pretty hidden. Do you want to move anywhere else? <clears throat> well, I only got ten feet of movement left because I didn't pick the bush further down. No, you picked. You have. Uh, you have fifteen. I have fifteen. Yes. Oh, um, what's outside of the screen where we came from? I mean, basically we need just to get outside. Basically, just some forest. Forest. Because I mean, we need to get. We need a short rest, really. And for to do that, we need to get far away from here. Um, I, I, you have the feeling that he has... He knows exactly what you guys are doing, by the way. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? I Go inside saying. the house? He definitely did, didn't seem done with you guys. Well, I'm just gonna wait right here and hope my wounds suddenly <laughs> heal. Okay. So that's uh, why you end your turn? Uh, yeah, can I use... I can use dodge still, can I? Use what? I can use dodge. Uh, Go into dodge. Yes. Because I used my bonus action to use yeah. height. So yeah, you health, can. Then I can. So I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to move to here. All right. Uh, use guard and call out I'm a fnuck. Reveal yourself, fiend. And just wait. You hear nothing. Are you guarding as well? Who? You're guarding as well, right? Yeah, I'm guarding. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you see the sheep just dash inside. He's gotta be the dumbest motherfucker. <laughs> like showing you guys to follow him, like with his head, and then just dash in and up, up until the uh, platform that leads to the central area. And he stands right in front of the door. Guess I'll follow. If the sheep goes. Okay. Uh. Oh, yeah, follow. Over here, but before uh, going upstairs, I like to check if there is a trap uh, on, on the on the um, stairs and the door. Yeah. Uh, you didn't see the sheep um, like trigger anything. Oh, okay, <laughs> then I'll probably. Do you still? Enter. You can still check if you want, but yes, I want to check. Okay, uh, make an investigation check. Okay. <laughs> Investigation. Oh no. Alright. Uh, seems like this, uh, even though it doesn't look like on this map, but it is <coughs> a ramp made of roots that is connected to this actually tree that makes out this platform. And it doesn't seem to be any traps or anything. Oh, it's safe. Okay. Oh, wait. How far was this? Uh, 25. No, it was 15. Oh, yeah, so, yeah sorry. It was uh, Kenny that was. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Dark uh, Flame Master that was. Uh, 25. So, so you can I move. Can uh, towards here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so looking inside, you see this seems okay. like an outhouse. Uh, like there's uh, plants growing and uh, some vegetables. Uh, you're not really sure what he's making with this. Okay. And I got here. I used your action to search. Oh, okay. No. I might do. Alright. Cheeky? Well... <sighs> I guess I'm gonna follow then. Okay. Do I move regular speed, even though I'm trying to stealth? 
Uh, half speed. Well, that's horrible. Can I use my bonus action to dash? Yes. Wait a second, how far is it? 10, 20, 30, 20. Well, I guess I'm just gonna don't stealth and then go here. All right. And then gonna use my action to actually, well, I don't know. I'm gonna dodge, I guess. Okay. Or guard or whatever you call it. Yeah. Hmm. So Nothing seems to be happening. Reaction. Just follow right up to the sheep. Okay. okay. You see the the sheep like nose can't get any further than this door. Oh, is there something magical about the door then? You don't know. You can make an arcana check. All right, arcana check. As far as you can see, nothing really magical about it. Okay. Do you have Lehman's tiny hut? Dark flame? No. Well, that's a bummer. I think that's a higher level spell. I don't remember. Our warlock has had it for yeah. too long now. I think it's a... You can get it around level 6 or 7. Yeah, he has it as a red chill, though, so yeah. I don't run, really know. But he, he doesn't, he seems to have it now. Uh, Dark Flame Master doesn't have it. Nope. Alright, that's your turn? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, the sheep just stands back on its legs, and you see where the handle is. When it hits it, the door doesn't open, and it's looking back at you, to, trying to tell you something. Okay. Robin? Yes. I'll we'll walk to... Yeah. Okay. So you can see that you and Tea Leaf is still looking a little bit hurt. If something should be, uh, should happen at some point. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, nothing is happening. We could technically just throw up a bonfire around here and just you know, <laughs> go into one of the huts and throw a bonfire and take our short rest. If the door opens, kill stuff. Could barricade the door, I guess. But then I have to go back. Ah. No, we can just barricade this. I'll room just remind you doors. that you just saw him disappear. Well, if he wants to find us alone, then sure, he can come out of hiding. I mean, it's a short rest. If you bar the door can... up to the main room, what are you going to throw at us? Is he going to magically reappear and then fight us all alone? No, I'm just saying. Yeah. Maybe magically reappear with buddies. I sit against three. And I have my third. Ah. Well, you know. What? So you're saying? I know, I just said that I uh, would sit against this tree. Mm hmm. And then in my turn. Okay, you don't want to use an action to heal or something? No. I don't think I can heal anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have two more second level spells and you have th uh, four more first level. Uh. Uh. Do you have any more left in your lay in hands? No. Okay. Oh, he uh, he has one second level Q wounds left and four second level. Uh, I mean the first level Q wounds if he wants to heal a lot. And then I'll use uh, cure wounds on the cheek. All right. So roll one d eight and uh, plus three. It's just like this. Right, so that is 12 points of uh, healing. That's uh, quite a lot. I like you, a lot better. You just ganky as fuck. I am 
fit to fight. I mean, I am looking like a newborn. <laughs> Only one who's very not fit to fight right now is uh, Lorben. <laughs> well, um, since I was the one out of character speaking about the, the what's it called? It's barricading. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you guys. I, I think we could just maybe barricade this place and take a rest until everybody's fine. You don't want to see what's behind the door. Well, I don't know. I could take a quick peek and run back. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, I'm just going to stand right here and use dodge or fortify or block. Or, uh, I don't remember. Sure. I think it's dodge or god or something. I can't remember. You know what you mean. Probably dodge. All right. Dark flame master. Yeah, I'm going to try and open this door then. All right. Shove the sheep a bit back. As you try to open... The door seems to be locked, and you instantly realize that that is probably what the sheep was trying to tell you. Oh, so it's just locked. So I guess well, I'm the one who needs to open it. Seems like it, cheeky. Door's locked. I got it. All right. You see uh, the sheep just nod and bah! Okay, Lauren? You don't need tools for this. You can do this old fashioned way. <laughs> what? Sure. I walk out the door and I kick. Do I have to do a strength Robert. check? Yeah, make a strength check. Yes. <laughs> <Hi. laughs> he just falls backwards because his armor is heavy and he just lands. I'm oh! <laughs> Doesn't budge! And keep laying down. <laughs> uh, okay, we need him. Alright, so you are quite a lot of people on the bridge right now. <laughs> uh, There's no way I'm gonna get there. <laughs> <laughs> I walk back, I walk back. Okay. Goddamn sheep! Oh no! Shit. Oops. What? No! <laughs> oh, you, oh, you wanted to move the sheep? Oh, uh, well, sure. He's here. Fuck it. No. <laughs> Right, he he just Lorben. runs up. He likes Lorben a lot. And just runs after him. Ah! Oh, cheeky. Can I be there? Can I stand there next to uh, to Dark? Yeah, you're small enough. So I walk up to the door and do I use my proficiency? Uh, yeah. And then so Dex like check uh, and add your proficiency. Um. It doesn't seem like like you you put your uh, your tools in to the to the keyhole, and you hear the first click, and the next click, and then you can't really find the last one. It's gonna take a little while, guys, but but I'll get it. <laughs> That's all right, cheeky. Shouldn't be too hard, I think. No, it's an easy door. I'll just stand beside him and wait. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm going to, like, hold my staff ready, just in case something is behind the door. Okay. Like, hold the Eldritch Blast. You suddenly hear a large, almost explosion sound. What now? As you see the joint small chamber, the roof just disappear. And out from it... It's a uh, nuke, but he's flying on something that looks like a dragon. Well, you gotta be kidding me. But it doesn't <clears throat> really look like a dragon. It looks like the dragon is made out of wood and the wings are made of sheets and has like a pillow as a tail. What? Did he come out of the big room or the small one? He comes out of this one over here. Seems like he's finished casting some kind of big spell. I need to open this door, like, right now. 
So he's hovering over this chamber right now on this dragon looking thing. And you immediately what? just see this sheep what? just start to panic. Well, wouldn't he get hit by an Eldritch Blast, blast if we see him? No, because he's not behind the door. True. Good point. You should have said it's next time you see anything. <laughs> <laughs> so the sheep is just I fucking scared. Alright, Lobin? Feeling healthy? Uh, no, not really. Um, you could use uh, level 2 uh, cure wounds on yourself if you want to. Yes, please. That's 2d8 plus 3. Uh, how much is the healing potion? Mm -hmm. two, eight, that's 2d4 plus 2. Well, that's oh. a whole lot of nothing. This oh boy, that's a bad heal. <laughs> Oh wow. Holy shit. Alright, so you don't feel that much better. Terrible. Well, we started out great, guys. <laughs> oh no. Alright, so. It's going to shit. Uh, actually, who's. Anyone proficient in the counter? I am. Okay, go ahead and make a counter check. Arcana. Ooh. Alright, so. You think what just happened I was think. that, yeah, that he retreated to cast some kind of spell. And he probably just ran and found the biggest thing he had. Oh no. And transmuted it into a creature, so his bed. So this is, a, this is like a bed dragon. <laughs> Are we gonna fight a bed dragon? Yes. <laughs> How do you even make that? He can transmute things with his stuff. Oh so this is a dragon bed. But you also know that he's probably concentrating real hard to do this. Probably. I shoot probably him down! Shoot him mid-air, right? So Chiki, you can try the door again or what do you want to well, do? Oh, I'm gonna try this door real hard. <laughs> okay. Dragon Saint Chiki's favorite. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get the door, get the door. Oh yeah, it opens and you just fall in. Okay, so <laughs> like this. Yes. I'll uh, just move you a little so I can accept that. You're moving. Oh, you're moving him? I'll just move Did you. Did I move you. him? Yeah. Oh, well, he sorry. falls in as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, inside yeah. you see a quite, a lot, quite a large chamber. Seems like a working area. Okay, so there's another door. This door right here. It's Lord, you movement. should get over here. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming. Where's the dragon thingy? There's the sheep. Is he still inside or is he hovering, hovering above? above? Okay, so I need to move way too far to actually be able to throw a dagger at it. Well, I guess I go for the next door then. All right. Can you move me? <laughs> I can move him a little. There we go. Don't need to stand there. I guess I do. You try this door. This door doesn't seem to be locked. Can I? Uh, I don't know. What did I use? Did I use an action or a bonus action to lockpick the door? Use an action. Well, then I'm going to use my bonus action to interact with an object and then open the door. But right before I do it, I am going to tell Dark Flame something. Okay. I'm going to say, Pl be ready if something's there. And I'm can I can I open it from there and just, you know, tap it open and yeah. touch the side. Yeah. Um... So you just push it open. Yeah. And uh to the side, so it's only dark flame seeing anything. And so you see like a <clears throat> like a dining area or living quarters. I see okay. uh, living quarters. Where? That's about as much talk as you as you get on that turn. 
Well, I guess uh, I, I I have nothing else. I've used you have more action and bonus action, so I think I have a little more movement, right? Um, ten, twenty. I don't know. I don't think. I, I think do. I have ten. Oh well, no! I'm just gonna stay in this corner. Okay. Either way. Yes. All right. You see this massive bed dragon just soar out of there with the nuke riding it and just crash down into the uh, main building just <laughs> through the roof well, and you shit. see you see it just okay. rearing back preparing to do something horrible Hey, now it's and you just right? instinct, instinctly, Dark Flame Master, you just try to dodge out of the way. And you do. Ooh. So you take half damage. It's using a splinter breath. What now? Why is that even a thing? <laughs> <laughs> God it's dang it. What in the... F oh. Yeah, breath attack hurts. So this dragon is in there with you, with the nuke riding on top of it. Can we see him? I mean, yes. so I could attack him instead of the stupid pet dragon. Yes. He said riding on top of it, though. Yeah, so he's on top of it. So if I stand within five feet of the dragon, I can hit him. Is, it, is that how we're going to rule it? Uh, you have to climb up on the dragon. Am I, I going to need to do an athletics to yes. <laughs> soar into the air and stab that fucker in his throat? Yeah, you are. It's too far up. It's quite big. <laughs> All right, then. Like, stretch myself back. Grab my god stuff. Aim at the guy. Two Aldrich blasts. Okay. Uh, focusing on... Look. So, the Eldritch Post. Oh, it hits. Damage. So, and second. Ooh, good foot. Okay. Yep. So, he, he loses uh, concentration on the dragon, and it's just. He, ah. he just turns into a king size bed again. A little Whoop. beaten up now because it soared through the roof. And he's just standing there. Wah, wah, wah. And, and then it's, I walk it's, up to him. Okay, I it's, still walk right. I see. Judgment. He's looking oh, very God. scared and just looking around. And you see him just. <laughs> I'm gonna do it! And he holds out this wand. You see it is just spurring, spurting with energy. No, 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 and no. And no, he no, just no, holds no, it no, upon no. himself. Don't fucking turn yourself Third. into a dragon. And you just, you just see it just vibrate Third. in his hand, just, and he just turns into something horrible. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no, no. Uh, where did it go? There. At least we got a king size pet to get buried in. You see this you can hide blob of, of just mush with a lot of mouths and it's just What in the fuck did And you just see the you see the wand just fall to the ground and it's just smoking smoking a little bit My Kill that thing. Is so the wand is at his feet? Yeah, he cannot hold it anymore. Seems like this was not what he planned for. Um, The sheep is just still hiding over here. He's fucking scared. <laughs> but he's, uh, you can hear him like cheering in sheep. Like, Fucking sheep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lovren? Because I have to eat my friends. I'll remove the bed. 
first I walk towards here. Okay. And then I use eight on or uh, all of us. Okay. Except you keep your reach. So all of you get your uh, hit your max HP increased by five. You can all do that by yourself. So five more. What? So just like Did you use eight? Just yeah. add five to your max HP. Didn't you, you oh. used eight, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, you have your maximum HP and you add five to it. Okay, I do not. Alright. Yay. Then. Okay. Getting quite the tanky now. Okay, Chicky, you see this fucking weird ass uh, <laughs> looking blob of just mouth everywhere, just. <laughs> well, since the bed is still there, couldn't I just. You know, tuck under the bed and then use my bonus action to slide of hand that delicious wand. Uh, make an acrobatics check followed by a slide of hand check. Acrobatics, you say? That's this one. Oof. So I guess I'm under the bed now. Yeah, you just run over and slide in. <laughs> And then slide of hand, you say. With that advantage, because you're just there. Uh, well, okay, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, you, you can just... With advantage. No one has no idea about... Like, huh. the, you just have the wand now, suddenly. It's just and gone then, from the floor. Well, I mean... Nobody knows what happened to that wand. And then, since I can still... I haven't used any actions. I can still attack the guy. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna add the sneak attack, and then I'm gonna try to stab the blob thingy. Okay. Uh, oh, I haven't targeted him, sorry. Let's see... If that does hit. Okay, so I'm gonna roll damage. Nice. Oof. That was Oof. horrible. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nearly lost roll. So you just it's stick your room. sword in one of the mouths and that one stops talking, but then the other one starts talking louder. Let's see. Uh, this is horrible thing. Uh, Alright. Well then. I mean, that dragon breath fucked me up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bad dragon! Splinters! <laughs> That's the most horrible thing ever. <laughs> I mean, the guy is low on inspiration. But I'm just gonna go full smash, smash, smash in every mouth I can see. Go ahead. Got two stuff. So, that's the one. That's it. Second. And my bonus. Oh. Alright. Okay. That hits. Uh, one dice. Apparently, the blob isn't wearing any armor. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, six damage. Okay. Can you get that too? Yes. The um, sounds look a little hurt um, now. That's just, my just after, turn, I guess. Yeah, just uh, after just churning this blob of stuff. <laughs> It is still annoyingly loud. Oh, shut this up. Um. It'll try to uh, to bite you with one of the mouths. Who? You. Oh, okay. Well, I'm under the bed. So yeah. <laughs> he can't see me. It's just. Arr. But it misses you with it. Oh, well, thank fucking God. <laughs> um, and it's gonna... One of the other mouse... I just... Uh, I'm gonna try... It, you see that the mouse just chewing something that looks like a glob of... You don't even know what it is. But at some point it's, finishes, it's finishing chewing uh, the, the blob. Huh. Uh, and I need all of you to make a dexterity check. I'll make it for you here. A dex? 
So the only one who failed was Lorben. <laughs> so Lorben, you are... As it finishes... Uh, this this weird chewing, whatever is in its mouth just explodes in a blinding light. So you're effectively blinded right now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Can I see a thing? So he just blinded our healer. Yeah. Good game. Uh, the sheep will just actually run up to you guys and just fucking oh. punch it in the face with hoofs. What? Go sheep! <laughs> it's just a natural <laughs> one. <laughs> God damn it! You just see it fly over. Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up. All right, Lauren. <laughs> You're blind. Yeah. Oh my! So I can't really do anything. <laughs> uh, everything is suddenly. Ah, white. Okay. Uh. Oh my God, the sheep. Go. Wait, let me actually see what blind does in my book. Well, that's lovely. Well, um, I believe it's a lot of disadvantage on perception. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, God damn it! Is that a disease? Please tell me it's a disease. A disease? Yes. Uh, no, you you Probably. just can't see, and you automatically fail any ability to check that requires sight, so attacking and stuff like that. <laughs> so I can. So and and the, he has attack against you when he has to, has to attack you because you're just wandering about and blind. So I can't attack. No. So I can't heal. No. <laughs> you guys have fun. And I, I say that to the wall or something. Well, you can make an in intelligence check to see if you can find out where uh, Dark Flame Master is, where he's standing, from where yes. you could see. That's my... Feel my aura. Fine. Feel uh, my... Magic. Intelligence uh, check. Nope. You have no idea where he is. <laughs> <laughs> this is going so well. Next turn is... Uh, All right, this is fine. This, this is, is fine. fine. <laughs> well, I, I can't do much to help him, so I'm just going to go for the for the stab. stab. Okay. That's oh, it. thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. And then the orphan. Oh! Well, I'm oh, yes. loving this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Except for my damage for some reason. <laughs> well, um. Wow. Um. Can I just, you know, sort of. shout to, to Lorben? Just a quick shout. Yeah. Go for the bed, Lorben! <laughs> Go for the bed? Yeah, well, I'm underneath of it, so if he gets to the bed, I'm gonna grab oh, his foot. Oh, okay. Then at least he knows where I am. All right, Darkflame Master. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna do what I do, and smash. Keep smashing with my quarter staff into those now. Okay. Just keep going. It's looking pretty pretty beat up at this, at the, this point. Gonna be more beat up. Ooh. Second. Holy shit. Go. And my last bit of bones. <laughs> Holy Eight. shit. It's uh <laughs> it is dead. How do you want to do it? Hey what what, what is dead? It is dead. <laughs> it's the backhand hit. <laughs> yeah, it's a backhand hit. Wow. Right, so you just and you just take the the backhand of the of the of the staff, just swing yeah. it all the way behind you, and just boom, boom, and you basically just slam through the whole blob, just cutting it too with your staff. 
And it just falls and almost like melts on the floor. Huh. Melts, that means no loot, right? Uh, it, much you can rummage through it if you want. <laughs> I'd rather not touch there with a mouse. I am not sticking my fingers in there when I don't see loot. <laughs> Maybe cook it with my stuff a little. It's oh boy, that, that seems was a very slimy. tough one, guys. What happened to the guy? He just became this. That's you it. Just, as you say that, you just see the sheep just... <laughs> just jump around. And it seems like he's going to... Uh, like over here to look for something. And just point like with his, with his nose up. Like... <laughs> Guess I'll make my way there. Alright. And I'm gonna crawl out from under the bed. Make an investigation check. Uh, Dark Flame Master. Oh, okay. Wait, let me... Uh... Boom. Guess who's Ooh. Uh, up on uh, one of the tables seems to be a scroll with the same sigil as before. Ooh. So another one of those... Speak with animals. Yeah. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just use that then. I'm right. gonna... Whilst he do that, can I make my way to the second room? Mm, which one? Uh, the one in here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna try and open this door while he fiddles around with the sheep. Okay. Seems to be like a dining area. But it's, most of it has turned into a workplace. Right, so again, his voice starts to morph from bah into the elven accent and uh, sheep voice. And he says to you, You did it! Yeah. I can understand you, you again. I, you, you, can, you can turn me back now. Oh. How? How do I, I do that? I, I told I, you. With the staff? Yes! Worse. Uh, I, I don't see the stuff. Where is it? Uh, go look! <laughs> I just look around where he apparently dropped it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to be there. Not maybe, here. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's in here. Maybe there was an illusion. I'm going to look inside here. And then I'm going to start looking for stuff in here. Obviously not the one, but I'm going to look for loot. Okay, make an investigation check. <laughs> investigation. Ah. <sighs> well, that's ah. horrible. Uh, looking around the house, um, basically the whole house seemed to be like emptied of valuables. <laughs> um, it seems like Nook. When he took over the place, he's just been spending everything on research on spells and been oh. working like, constantly like in his paranoia. Damn. And it's basically just work stuff, like stuff, uh, equipment for transmutation that is not really useful to any of you guys. Stuff like that. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> not even a, I mean, not even a chandelier. Well, there's candle lights scattered around the place, like normal uh, living stuff. I there's gonna... really, really, when you look around, there's just no valuables in this house. I'm gonna blow out all the candlelight in this room, and I'm gonna <laughs> pocket all of them. All right. Um, <clears throat> How many is that? Uh, let's see. You find the around three of them. Seems to be the same as before. Maybe, maybe bronze. You can kind of really tell. So I found three, so that makes it four. Yeah. In total. And then I'm gonna slowly make my way to this door. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't in there. I'm gonna try <laughs> the, 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 the dragon bedroom. And then go down here and open this door. All right. Doesn't seem to be a, it does indeed seem to be a bedroom. Everything here is in here is splinter to pieces and uh, of course the bed is not there anymore um nothing 
useful around this place at all. Like the the ceiling nothing. just came down upon this place. And there's nothing if I rummage through. You can try. I am gonna. You find another candle hold. <laughs> I am taking it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll gonna I'm gonna go back. Okay. I'm just vigorously little... searching for that wand. And I am gonna have a little chat with our sheep friend over here. Okay. Where is that bloody? <clears throat> so, so this was the home you lived in, right? This is my home. And you said you would have payment, right? Plenty. Where exactly would that be? Why, well, it should be in here. And he's just roaming things through this desk, and he just, if you are you there with him? Well, I'm going to follow him, yeah. Okay, well, he just seems to, even though he's a sheep, <laughs> to just lose his face. And that's really just nothing of value anymore. So it seems the wand is gone, whatever he did, lost it. I think something went wrong with the spell, I don't know. And there's also no gold in this entire building to pay us with. No. So, what then? I don't know, he said you insult most of my research. Well, we can take you back and find a nice farm if you want. This is my house. Well, I don't mind leaving you here if you want to stay in this house. But the wand. I well, saw it just before. It can't have gone far. Well, well, we can look for it, I guess. Make a deception check. Well, okay. <laughs> well, that's bad. Oh, wow. Well. I think you've been looking already. I haven't the foggiest idea of what you're talking about. And then Do you now? Go for the other room. And he'll follow you. Well, you can go ahead and follow me all he wants. Are you not gonna hand it over? Hand what over? Listen, it's a magical wand. What would I need with a magical wand? I he doesn't. He does not believe you, no matter what you say. Well, Plenty. I'm still looking. Well, we got you home, and you're in your house. So, have fun. <laughs> I guess I'll keep looking then. You do that, and I will be outside. And then I'm gonna head outside. Alright. Well, I'm gonna maybe, I don't know... Yeah, well, I'm heading outside, but before I leave, I'm going to tell my patriots that we're not going to get paid for this. Um, it seems that everything's spent, so our promised payment is not going to happen. What now? Uh. He has nothing left to pay us with. Absolutely nothing. Mm. Am I still blind? No, I don't think so. No. Ah, phew. Nothing to pay us with, huh? I'm going to search the, this monster. The gibbering monster? Yes, I have. I have. Can you get an investigation check? Yes, <laughs> of course. Ah, uh, that's investigation. E. It seems like everything that that wizard carried just turned into slime and this pool of whatever it is. Mm. There's nothing in it. I told you we would need this glass. I'm gonna take out the glass. And I'm gonna fill it with blob. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> there you have your payment. Well, I'm not gonna consider this payment at all. 
Not even close, and there is no goddamn way this is gonna cost anything. Well, then I walk out. He, the sheep looks to you guys. Well, I did think I would still have my money, my research. I'm sorry. It's alright. Yes, I'm super. pretty sure the wall is lost though. And I'm gonna make myself. I am pretty <laughs> sure your friend over. has it. I'm heading into the forest and hiding. Okay. What, what do you say? I'm pretty sure your friend took it. Wait, Cheeky took it? Yes, but Cheeky. I can't really do anything in this form, and I was hoping to be released from it. Well, if he had a reward, I'm sure he would turn it, but... Well, if you say so. Don't you have any research with selling anything? As you can see, the place has been robbed of everything that, that there was. I'm, ba I'm considered bankrupt. But he's also a sheep, so he doesn't need anything. <laughs> True, but he is not really a sheep. <laughs> he's totally a sheep. I'm not sure what to do here. Robin, you got any ideas? What are you planning to do if you're back to your normal form? Well, come again? What are you planning to do if you're back to your normal form? I will try to study very hard to turn all the people he has been turning back into normal. Yeah, and they're all dead. There's more. Oh wait, there's more. Who? He's been turning people for weeks. I, like I said, I've been in the house looking out at the garden and he's been turning guards and normal people into his things. Oh, okay. Doesn't sound well. Well, I'll go have a chat with Cheeky and see if we can just use it on you and maybe you'll have to give the one to him. That's payment then. I... I will take it. Take it? I will allow it. Oh, okay. I'll go see where he is. And I All go right. outside. Okay. Well, I'm not hidden too far away so that I can see my patriots coming out, but I'm still hidden in the forest. Okay. I'm just feeling out. Cheeky! Make a what perception check. A perception check. <laughs> That's not gonna go. Eh. No, no one answers. You can't really see anything moving. The dead halfling go. Um, where are you at the moment? Just outside. You can move the character if you want to. Here. Um, how far, let's say I was here, how far out do I need to be to still be in some form of bush? Let's see, just say the white line. So just like here? Yeah. Well, then I'm going to stealth over there and just silently, as silent as possible, so that I know only dark hears it. All right. He's not getting the want. I know. I've told him you can have it as payment. He just needs to go back to his original form. Does that mean you I can, can keep, keep the, wand? the wand? Yeah, you can keep the wand. Well, okay. Is, there any, chance, is there any chance the wand will destroy itself when if he goes back? I haven't asked that. It's possible? I'm not sure I should ask. Well, you're magic yourself. Can you look at it, maybe? Sure. 
well, I'm going to stick out so he knows where I am okay. and then hand him the wand so he can look at it whilst I'm staring very intently at the wand so <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> pocket it. Okay, uh, make an intelligence check. Uh, no, uh, I can't know. There we go. Uh, okay. Um, It seems like this wand has been modified. In a way that has uh, left the one extremely unreliable. Oh. Uh, it's like inscribed with ruined, ruined iron bands that cracks. So it's been used a lot. So these iron bands have actually cracked from the use. And it seems like this enhancement has made it so it can be used more often each day, but at a uh, price. So it's unreliable, but. You can use it more. So it won't destroy if we turn him back? No, it won't destroy itself, but there's a chance that it may not work. You, you don't really know if it will... Uh, oh, I what it will do. need a weird ruins. Yeah, you don't really know if sure. it will do anything. Pretty sure it won't destroy itself, seeing as it's covered these weird ruins. So you can be assured of that. Well, in that case, I guess we can try and turn him back. All right. But I'm still selling the wand, though. That's all right, Cheeky. So I guess we head back in. Okay. Yep. Are you heading in as well? Okay. Hmm. I can move this fucking blob. There you go. <laughs> All inside the glass, anyways. <laughs> yeah, just scooped it up. All right, I'll do the honors, I think. Let's see. Guess I'll use the wand. Okay. And uh, let me see just how this works. Ah, oh, boy. Um. Make an arcana check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and anything else? Uh, just start by doing that. Okay. <laughs> there was 19 still. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Alright. So you see... You feel that this wand just starts vibrating in your hands, just and then just shoot out towards the sheep. And you just see slowly this sheep just deform. Just legs going larger and the whole body just stretching until That's the first. actually on in front of you stands a an elven man. So much for unreliable. <laughs> yeah. So finally you see the real guy. And he looks at you, raises his, his head. Thank you. You're welcome. And I give the wand to Cheeky. You so go. you want you I'm, want I'm to keep the wand? Yes. But, but no. Well, let me warn you. With those modifications, it's very deadly. Well, consider me warned then. Why did you make it then? I did not make these improvements. Oh. You did. Look. Oh, oh, what an idiot. <laughs> okay. All right. I understand. Well, so we leave this fortress in your very capable hands. So I, now I will have to work to turn everyone back to normal. Well, with your trusty magical hands, I'm sure you're gonna be fine. I sure hope so. I just give him like five gold pieces. Thank you. Just, it's a start. Thank you very much. I'm 
sorry that I have nothing to give you. Well, you go cheeky to wand. I guess that's... Well, that wand can't really be used anymore. Well, he's only... Well, come again! What now? It is too dangerous to use. Well, too dangerous, yes. I'm not going to use that anymore. <laughs> but it still can I, works. Can I take a look at it? No, you can't. <laughs> well, all right. Maybe, maybe he just wants to see the runes, Cheeky. You never know. Maybe he can make it reliable again. I cannot. I'm Perfect. sorry. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry. Well, why do you want to look at it then? To see how bad it is. Well, does it really matter if it's good or bad? What are you going to use it for? Well, since I'm not a magical... ...caster, I am gonna do the most sane thing you could do. And I am gonna sell it. You just see him just frown. And look at you with disgust. I'm just gonna smile with my honest eyes. He's just gonna say, So you're gonna sell a time bomb? Exactly. If you wanna call this one a time bomb, then that's exactly what's gonna happen. And if you work fast enough, you could be the one owning it. I see. Okay. Well, I believe we should be on our way then. We never got that beer, did we? <laughs> you did none. I say we head for the tavern and get that beer. I do believe we deserve a beer. Especially after this whole adventure. Well, sheep, take care. Well, I guess not as much sheep anymore as elf. <laughs> well, still, thank you for your help. You're welcome. And then I start walking out. All right. Best of luck. Thank and you. And I walk out. And Lorben bashes him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> this nice guy. Yeah. Not just saying Elvish. It was great to meet you. Good. He says uh, back in Elvish. Thank you. If I ever see you again, I will pay you. That's not necessary. Well, goddammit. it! also say that in Elvish. Mm -hmm. And then I'll walk off. Okay. You just see him as you leave. Just walk to one of his table and just sit down. Pondering what to do now. He's, dis he's depressed now. Great. Well, I mean, what did you expect? I mean, everyone's dead. Everything he owns is gone. Then cheeky as a start. Or one. <laughs> well, or whatever. he should have just earned way more. Wait, how did you even get that? What? The stuff. But I didn't hear the entire sentence. What did you say about the stuff? Uh, how did you even get it? I mean, it was just it was just kind of there, and then it was kind of in my back. You know how it goes. No, I don't. Tell me. Well, it's a magical wand. How would I know? <laughs> ah, it's okay. I just didn't hear that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need that beer now. Yeah, beer yeah, should be fine. <laughs> All right, so you start heading back to town. Indeed. Yep. Yes. We All right. Go. All right. Go. In chase of the beer, I think that's where we're gonna end it because that's what it is. Woo. Well, it's a fun adventure. <laughs> well, is it? Yeah. Leave it behind, depressed. Uh, also, yeah. Well, that's how it went. Go sometimes.
But we did go and earn ourselves uh, this fine little list. I've made my note public. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh yeah, some candle holders, some glass. Weird. Whatever the fuck it was. You have no idea what it was, so I just called it blob. <laughs> Oh man. We're gonna be so rich. <laughs> <laughs> Those were some nice rewards. Yes. That's excellent. Oof. Somebody's gonna die when they get that one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Honestly, as long as they pay enough for it, they can do whatever. I don't <laughs> You can probably Don't sell it to somebody that doesn't really know how to use it. <clears throat> and they're going to be the ones that actually explode because you need to pass a really high intelligence level. Really? Yes. So there was a chance. Intelligence there was level? a chance that either he got turned into the same thing. <laughs> and even if it, was, if, if it was low enough, the wand just exploded and everyone would take damage. <laughs> So if what the, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that crazy motherfucker. On second thought, Cheeky's gonna turn around, walk straight back, and Ooh. murder his ass. <laughs> well, he did try to warn you. Well, he didn't warn us when he wanted us to turn him back, though. He was uh, desperate. Guess I rolled. I know. And he wasn't allowed to look at it either. Well, no. Yeah. So if we're old low enough, it would explode. So if we didn't have an okay. intelligent character in our party, we could have been shit the fuck out of luck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this could have gone horribly <laughs> wrong. <laughs> just imagine the end of the entire adventure is like, oh, just turn, turn me back. And like, <laughs> building explodes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.